ili tuokoe wakati Hello. Naambiwa watoto wote wa malehemu na familia jamii wanastahili wawe ndani. Kwa hivyo tafadhali kama wewe ni mtoto natakiwa mtoto wa malehemu unatakiwa uwe ndani na wewe kama ni wa jamii unatakiwa uwe ndani. 
tufanye hivyo kwa haraka ili tuendelee kuokoa muda Askofu kila kitu kikiwa ndani unaweza kuendelea. Hello. Uh, wapendwa wetu ambao muko hapa. Tunapoendelea kwa sababu tukimaliza hapa tunawaleta wale ambao wako upande ule ili wakuje tuweze kuendelea. Ili tu kusiwe na mchanganyiko wa mambo mahali hapa hema hii tunaitengea wachungaji na kwa sababu mnajua ma uh, yule ambaye ametuasha ni mchungaji washungaji watakuwa ni wengi. Kwa hivyo mahali hapa tutapatengea washungaji na familia. Alafu hapo nyuma yao tunatamani tuwaweke wageni wote ambao wametoka upande ule wa Nairobi. Kwa hivyo upande huu nao ama tuseme wageni wote wataka hapa. Na, na familia zote zitaka hapa. Alafu hapa hapa nampo sasa wapendwa wetu ambao ni wa hapa. Mahali hapa na wao tutawawekea 
na itakuwa ni vizuri. Kwa hivyo wewe ukiwa ni mmoja wetu umetoka maeneo haya hema hili tunaweza tukalijaza. Si tu, si ni vizuri baba zetu. Alafu hapa tutawawekea wachungaji na familia zote mbili sitakuwa hapa hapa. Alafu wageni ambao wanatoka mbali wana wataka kule nyuma. Na kama unasikia sauti zangu ukiwa upande huo wa kule kwa nyumba kule nyuma na wewe hauko katika shughuli inayoendelea pale kwa nyumba tunaomba unaweza kukuja maeneo haya ambayo kuna hema ili uje uchukue kiketi chako ili tuweze kuendelea na kuokoa muda kwa hivyo na penda kuamini ya kwamba unaweza kusikia sauti zangu vizuri kwa hivyo mahali popote pale upo na unasikia sauti yangu haswa wale ambao wako kule karibu kwa nyumba na nena na nyie ambao ninawaona umesimama humo nauliza kama uko pale umesimama badala ya usimame hapo badala ya ukae hapo karibu uko kwa hema ili niweze kukuelekeza uweze kupata mahali pako pa kukaa ili wapendwa wetu ambao wamo ndani waendelee kufanya kazi yao kule ndani wakimaliza waweze kujumuika kuja kutue pamoja na wao tuko nyuma ya masaa wengi wametoka mbali kwa hivyo muda ni wadhamana sana kwa hivyo tunaomba kama umesimama kule nje tunakuomba tena kama umesimama kule nje fanya kuja upande huu ambao unasikia sauti inatokea uje ni kuelekeze upate mahali pa kukaa kuna uwezekano ukae huko ukose mahali pa kukaa kwa hivyo ni afadhali uje mapema ni kuelekeze mahali pako pa kukaa tumesema hivi kwa wale ambao tayari wamefika viketi hivi hema hili la kwanza hili ambalo nimo hema hili ni la wachungaji na familia zote mbili hema la pili ni la wageni wote ambao wametoka sehemu mbali sehemu mbali kwa hii, lakini hema ya mkono wa kulia hisi hema tatu ndizo ambazo tumejitengea uh, wale ambao ni wenyeji maana sisi tunaamini ya kwamba wenyeji watakuwa ni wengi kwa hivyo wewe ukiwa ni mwenyeji tunaomba ka upande uh, wangu wa kulia wote ambao ni wachungaji wana familia na wao vile vile wakae hapa uh, ndio mama yetu awekwa hapo itakuwa ni vizuri nafikiri hata kama kiti kimoja kigeondolewa ondoa hiki uh, tumweke hapa mbele mweke hapo ondoa hiki yani msukume hapa msukume aje hapa mbele hapo ndio 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 hapo ni pazuri na mama ndio hiki tuondolewe tu kinaweza kuwekwa pembeni kule Narudia tena nasema mkono wangu hema hizi tatu tumesitenga kwa sababu ya familia za hapa ama jamii za hapa. Hema hili ambako mimi niko hapa tunatamani tuweke wachungaji wote tuweke na familia tusiweke hapa ili tuweze kuendelea vizuri. Na tunaendelea kuomba wewe ambao uko kule kwa magari tayari masaa yetu yametusonga na tunatamani ya kwamba wakisha maliza kazi pale ndani ya nyumba tunatamani watafuata huku ili tuweze kuingia ama kujumuika kwa kazi ambayo imeweza kutuleta tuokoe wakati na tuokoe muda asanteni sana natamani na kuamini ya kwamba mnasipata sauti zangu na kilichoko kizuri ni kwamba unaposikia sauti unastahili ufanye kadiri ya maelekezo. Asanteni. Nyie ni watu wazuri na nashukuru naona mnati na mkiendelea kutii namna hiyo basi tutaenda kuwa na siku ambayo itakuwa ni ya kufana sana.
Tafadhali Tafadhali Naomba nipate wanaume sita wa huku. Wanaume sita wote pale wasimame tu. Naomba tafadhali. Wanaume sita tu kwa haraka. Asanteni sana, mubarikiwe ni sana na Bwana. Naomba John, John. Tusaidiane kitu kidogo tu hapa. Asanteni sana. Nyie ni watu wazuri sana. Joni, Joni, wanaume. Jo, 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 dugu yangu. Fanya kuingia nisha isi biti haraka haraka. Jo, pate nafasi hapo. Jo, jo na webe, dugu yangu. Nilitaka hizi, hizi, hizi. Jo, uweze kukuja hivi tu. Na hila ini, hina yo, ingia nisha, ingia nisha. Alafu nataka nye wanaume. Kila mwanaume yaone umeshika nini? kila mwanaume aone amejichikilia hii mmoja mmoja kila mmoja aende kwa hii aone amejichikilia nataka tuhamishe hii hema tuisongeshe huko eh mmoja achike hapa mwingine hapa mwingine hapa chukweni hiyo hema haya kila mtu mmoja mwingine aende kule Mmoja aende hapo. Tukisha inua, nikisema 1 2 3 uinue juu usitembee. Kwa hivyo 1 2 3 inua juu. Aya, John sasa. John, hivyo tu mlivyo. Na muangalie, huyu shoshu angaliwe. Lete huyu.
Shanga kabisa Niki fiki Rijinsi uleyo Nyotanguru Movi tu vyote pia Viumbwa vyo Royangu na Nyinyi nyinyi wanaume tunaye wangoje tafadhali naume wanao tubebea mwili ni nyinyi tunao wangoje asante
kwa na wangapi hapo unataka
Ndugu yetu isika pamoja na familia yake wakae hapa washungaji mahali pale Familia yote ya ndugu wetu joro, eh, joroge na watu wao wote wakae kwa viketi. Ili tuweze kuendelea. Tunaomba ni yetu nayo wangoja mkimaliza ili tuweze kuendelea. Tunamgoja baba akimaliza ndio tuweze kuendelea. Sawa sawa. Natamani wote sasa tuweze kutuliana na kukubaliana pamoja ili tuweze kuendelea. 
Bwana asifiwe sana. Askofu naomba kwa sababu ibada yetu inaanzia kwa ku view the body. Ah, uh, hiki kitu inafunguka upande gani? Nani atakuja kumsaidia hapa? Inafunguka huko. Ndugu yangu Paulo wako hapa. Chika. Kuna ndugu yetu po ambao ni wa familia hii naomba. Na watu wa machini na nyie tunaomba tafadhali tutengenezee hizo microphone kwa haraka. Na wenye machine tunaendelea kuagojea ili tuweze kusaidika tuweze kuwasiliana. Tufanyie uombezi ili tuweze kuanzisha kuona mwili. Asante. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Ninaomba tukaweze kusimama majuu sote tunapoomba kwa jina la Yesu Kristo. Baba Mungu katika jina la Yesu Kristo mwana wa Mungu aliye hai. Amen. Chana wa leo mfaume Mungu wa utukufu. Bwana wa rehema Mungu wa majeshi. Tunakurudisha shukrani kwa umbali ambao tumefika mahali hapa. Bwana wetu katika wakati huu na muda huu. Bwana tunapoenda kutazama mwili wa mwenzetu aliyelala. Bwana tunaomba kwamba Jehova ukaweze kutufunga mkanda. Mungu wa faraja zote na Mungu wa rehema zote jina lako litukuzwe na linuliwe. Asante maana Bwana yote anatendeka kwa uwezo wako. Kwa jina la Yesu Kristo tumeomba na kuamini. Amen. Amen. Basi ninapenda nitoe mwelekeo jinsi ambavyo tutakavyo weza kuja hapa katika kutazama mwili na pengine unachindwa ni nani huyu ambaye anatuelekeza napenda ni kujulisha mimi ni nani naitwa Reverend Jesse wa Ngombe Gitei nimeokoka na Kristo ni bwana bwana atukuzwe sana hali ya mazishi kwa washungaji ni kitu ya kila wakati na mimi upendezo kusema ma mambo haya wote tulikuwa na mpendwa wetu wakati alipokuwa uhai kumtazama mwili sio kitu ni cha lazima sawa na muda mwingi unakuta kwamba mtu anajilazimisha kuja kuona mwili kuletea watu shida juu ya ile shida ambayo wako nayo hautakuja hapa kuona mwili uongee na yeye ambaye ameondoka kwa hivyo maneno yangu ya, nitamatisha ninasema hivi kama wewe unajua sio mwenye nguvu katika kuona mwili Usije hapa kutupatia kazi nyingine. Maana tayari hii tulio nayo ni nzito. Kwa hivyo ni kuombe tu. Waruhusu wengine wenye nguvu waje waone. Wewe baki na kubukubu za muda mliokuwa naye akiwa uhai. Tuko pale wapendwa. Kwa hivyo mahali ambapo nimesimama. Ninasimama hapa. Kwa hivyo tunatamani watu wote watasunguka hivi. Mahali ambapo shema ni yupo. Tutasunguka huko. Alafu unakuja ukiona mwili hapa. Kwa jia hii ukirudi kwa kiketi cha kwako. Tuko pale. Si tumeweza kukubaliana na tafadhali kile ambacho ni cha kutusaidia ni kuweza kufuata machalti ambayo ninayoitoa kwa haraka. Ukikosa kufanya hivyo wewe unatusidishia na mzigo. Kwa hivyo tunaomba na mambo haya yote tunayaelekeza ili tuwe na siku ambayo ni ya kufana na siku itakayokuwa ni nzuri. Kwa hivyo mahali ambapo nimesimama Tunatokea huku tunasunguka tunakuja. Yeah. Na ninakuomba dugu yangu kama ningekubarika naye. Kama ungepata kiti ningefurahia sahihi. 
Yes, naomba uketi tu ndugu yangu maana hapo ambapo umesimama ndipo ninatamani watu wapite asante naomba hata ukitaka kuwa wa kwanza amna shida sawa 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 kwa hivyo tunaanzisha na familia familia ni nyinyi ambao tunao anzisha na nyinyi alafu na wachungaji Alafu na wachungaji watafuata tukiendelea namna hiyo na ninajua bwana atatubariki. Tufungulie naomba shema. Waibaji sijui kama tuko na waibaji wanaweza kuwa wanatuimbia tuwe tunaendelea na nyimbo. Kwa hivyo projects bila ambapo mmekuja mkituimbisha wimbo kama mnaweza kuweka wimbo itakuwa ni vizuri saidi. Kwa hivyo familia ni yeye tunaye wagoja. Tusunguke kule tuende huko tuje namna hii. Asante. Kwa hivyo tunaanza mkono wa kulia. Naona baba asante sana. Uki ukitutangulia itakuwa bora sahihi. Tusunguke huko. Anaweza, anaweza. Anaweza. Kita huko, kita huko baba. Jamani tuimbe tumwimbie bwana tumwimbie bwana wetu Haya tutembeze tutembeze mama Haya mama tembeze asante asante Mwenye nguvu mwenye nguvu mwana wa Mungu Asante Anaponya anaponya Atembeze atembeze sasa asante tawafariki tukikubali kuimba jamani Aya. Nafikiria nyinyi hata mkiwa wa mwisho ndio bora saidi. Familia ya Joroge tafadhali. Familia ya Mwangi. Ni nyinyi tunao wangoja tafadhali. Sasa wote wote ambao wanataka kuona mwili tupite hivyo. Upande wangu wa kulia tafadhali. Wote ambao wanataka kuona mwili mpite mkono wangu. Naomba mpite mkono wangu usikute. Usumbuke mwili. Nyuma nyuma ya watu wa kamera. Usumbuke mwili. Yeah, when I...
Jinala Yesu Jina Jina Tulilo Pewa Jinala Yesu Jina Jinala Yesu Jina Jinala Yesu Jina Jina Tulilo Pewa Hallelujah, to Simame Water. Hallelujah, to Simame Water. Amen. Amen. Jina la Bwana wetu lisifiwe sana. Amen. Kama vile ambavyo tunavyoelekezwa na wachungaji. Katika uchungu unaohusikia wa mauti. Huo sio mwisho. Bwana wetu atukuze sana. Amen. Na kwa sababu ya huo uchungu unaohusikia. Wewe ulie mume ama mtoto ama dugu ama dada. Tunaweza leo tuimbe wimbo huo hiyo kama tu ni hiyo kifungo tu cha kwanza hiyo stanza ya kwanza wote tukubaliane hata katika kifo tuseme tunalo jina kwa hivyo utatuimbisha tena na wewe kama umekuja katika mazishi ni naomba tafadhali kama umekuja saidi ya vile utachukua mchanga na kuurusha tafadhali wacha ni tuimbe hilo jina hilo jina la Yesu kwa hivyo tuimbishwe tena tuimbe hiyo tu stanza kidogo alafu ni waelekeze katika mambo mengine Jina la Yesu jina Jina la Yesu jina Jina la Yesu jina Jina tulilopewa Jina la Yesu jina Jina la Yesu jina Jina la Yesu jina Jina tulilopewa naweza tukaketi shida. Hivyo ndivyo tunavyostahili kujua ya kwamba tulipewa hilo jina Yesu kwa sababu Mungu alijua na mauti yanakuja. Bali katika jina hilo la Yesu hata mauti inashindwa. Bwana wetu atukuze sana. Amen. Tunaingia katika kipindi ambacho ni cha picha na ninaomba ndio naona baba anasema kitu. Wameona wameshaona tena tayari. Bwana atukuze sana. Na kwa sababu ninajua katika hali cameraman ako wapi mtu apisha? Unaona gazebo ikiwa hapo picha itatokea vizuri ama tungepush gazebo kidogo pale. Gazebo nyuma kidogo. Haya, wale wanaume wangu wako wapi? Naomba wanaume wanne. Chap chap. Tafadhali. My men, mko wapi? Wanaume wanne tu. Chap chap, haraka haraka. Ili tupushi hii gazembo iende pale na ni vibaya sana tukiona mchungaji akija kufanya kazi. Kwa hivyo mchungaji naomba na atafanya akiona hamkuji haraka. Nimeona wamekuja baba. Asante. Kwa hivyo tuchike tutasonga kule. Hiyo gazembo tuchukue ni gazembo tunachukua. Hema tu tuisongeshe kule. Kwa hivyo haya inueni twende sasa. Songa tu, nenda tu. Asante sana. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hapo panatosha hapo. Basi naona mtu wa kamera ako pale akiwa tayari na ninajua picha ya kwanza ni ya mzee kwa hivyo ninaomba baba karibu kwanza. Picha ya kwanza ni ya kwapa. Itabidi sijui mta utakuja hapa ndani ukikuja hapa ndani itakuwa 
Watoto na nyie mjitaalishe. Tafadhali ndio muingie kwa baba. Uh, usitoke. Simama hapa. Watoto wake wote. Watoto wake. Watoto wake wote. Na tafadhali tufanye kwa haraka tuokoe muda. Ndugu yetu Paulo Baba yangu Paulo yes, yes. naomba ukae hapa maana nitakutumia sana Aya. wewe unaelewa watu ni sio waelewa Aya. kwa hivyo kama ukiona mtoto wa baba ambaye hayupo hapa ukimbilie unahitaji wajukupe kwanza tusikilizane hapa nimesema watoto wa baba kabla majuni waingie kabla majuni waingie munifuate tu itakuwa ni salamu kwa hivyo watoto wa baba ndio ninao hata Jefu atafutwe kwa haraka Jefu na Junior na Junior Tuvitiwe hao bwana Alafu kama alafu kama dada zangu wako na waume zao na wao wajitaalishe maana ndio watakaoingia Na hao wanaume Jefu na wao mengine nitafutiwe kwa haraka Ah piga hao alafu familia hiyo ingine Hao kwanza unajua dada kwa kila wakati wanakuwa karibu na baba yao mm. na ni vizuri hii kubarikiwe mm. Kabla wanaume Najua sisi ndume tuko na shida zetu. Haya waume wao waingie sasa. Sasa waume wa hawa dada waingie. Na kila mtu akae na mtu wake. Kaka mtu wake. Sawa sawa. Kuna mwingine? Nani? Eh, 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 tunakugoja ndugu yetu. Ngi hapo. Hawa vijana, hawa ndugu zangu hawajapatikana. Wajukuu waingie. Bas, wajukuu waingie sasa. Avu. Okay, si 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 ni mama yetu. Simameni hapo hapo. Si ni mama? Naomba mama niletewe mama hapa hapa. Si ni kagadi? Kaja sukumu watu. Naomba. Paulo, ungemsukuma mama umlete. Hey. Aya wajukuu kwanza waingie, wapigwe hiyo fisha. Wako wapi wajukuu? Sawa kabisa, aletwe hapa kwa baba hapa. Eh hey, baba tumame hapa. Anakamba. Baba yangu. Jaribu kujisquizi eh. Mapata Junior na Jeff. Na nini? Mwapata. Atakaa na zingine watarudi. Ni sawa sawa nitakuonyesha. Mkiwa hivyo hivyo mmekaa. Familia Joroge Ebo amkeni hivyo mlivyo mje hapa hapa. Mkiwa tu hivyo hivyo. Chap chap. Ya mwangi. Ya mwangi sawa sawa. Nitawaleta. Nitawaleta kabisa. Eh nitakuonyesha. Fanyeni tu ninalo nisema mtaona. Tuingia. Yaani ni ofisi ya familia yenu yote sasa ndio alafu nianze kuondoa wengine. Wengine waende mpaka upande ule. Uonekani. Nafungue picha ni nini kofia? Fungue kofia hiyo. Hata kama ungeenda usikue tupale itakuwa bora saidi. Nafungue kofia. Sasa kama nani uko nyuma upatikani. Ndugu yangu upatikani wewe mfupi. Na wewe mtoto mje huku mchukue tu huku mbele. Ndio. Sikuti hapo. Wako pia hivi. Hapi Jeff. Karibia kidogo, karibia kwa kisha ndugu yangu. Hata ongeana kwa dadaako pale ukaribia ndio uone 
kani vizuri. Sawa sawa. Na na Paulo. Sawa sawa. Tunaona umefanya vizuri kukaribia bibi yako. Ndugu yako nataka uende ndugu zako wote na dada zako waje hapo hapo kwa hiyo pisha. Ili hivyo pisha kamili kabisa ya familia. Wote wa familia ya ndugu yetu Paulo. Aya. John John nyote. Ili tuwe tumepiga hiyo picha yote kamili. Anti hapana ma brother na sisters wana nini? Na waume zao na wake zao. Wengine wanaanza kwenda mpaka pale. Ama baba yangu mrefu yule. Hey. Toka kwa hema kabisa dio uonekane. Mama yangu hautaonekana uso. Hata unaweza kutelemisha nini kati ni kidogo ndio uonekane. Aya, mali sana na hiyo ni kuonyesha, ndio ni kuonyesha. Tafadhali mfuate machalti ndio tuweze kufanya haraka. Mwenyewe nyie nisikizeni tu. Ona tiga kohe o kegete, tiga se yaman. Tiga yo pisi. Shusho, shusho mi fiti. Me ahi da shusho, me fiti am shusho. Mama. Me kio de la gomati ge kohe o ite. Songa, songa. Shusho me kana. Tiga hiyo. Sawa sawa. Wa familia sasa ya ndugu yangu Paulo wote waondoke. Niache na familia ya kina ni Mwangi. Unamjua Mwangi ama nani? Haya, wa familia ya Mwangi niache ya hapo. Lakini ndugu wetu mzee asiondoke. Hawa wengine wote wa familia ya ndugu wetu Paulo wote waondoke. Wote waondoke niachiwe wale sasa wa familia ya Mwangi. Tufanye haraka jamani. Anayetusaidia kushughulikia mama. Si ni kuna mama ambaye alikuwa anashughulikia chosho. Shema. Ni shere yale. Ni uramidi yaka. Uka haa ndoga mimi. Thank you very much. Thank you. Haya. Basi tujipange, tujipange tukaribie. Bosco, push, push, push. Tukaribiane tafadhali. Na mumesika nini hatuoni jeneza. Hatulioni jeneza na tunatamani tulioni. Kwa hivyo hata kama mngerudi kama mna nyuma kwa jeneza. Turudi kule nyuma. Turudi nyuma kabisa. Rudi kabisa. Rudi ni nyuma kabisa. Sawa sawa. Piga hiyo. Na wale ambao ni wa familia ile ambao wako kwa kina Mwangi uncles aunties wale ambao wamekuja cousins ya kina Mwangi wote waje hapa Na waona makasi ni wengine wako kule ninyi hii picha ni yenu wewe kama unajua umetoka kule Moranga kule Yeah kama una, unaitanishwa na hii familia ya Mwangi ya kina Bosco Mume kuna mahali kuna damu Ndiyo hao ninyie ninaomba muje. Na tafadhali mkae kama mnarudi nyuma yangu. Msipite huku murudi nyuma yangu. Ili ni kusema hata kama mngesonga soga kidogo tu. Lakini ndugu yangu baba yangu asiondolewe hapa. Huyu baba aje hapa. Kuja kuja. Hey. A a a a wewe tunakutaka kukuona ukiwa mzima mzima. Hata huyu apewe kiti. Naomba nipe hiki kiti. Kari apa baba yangu? Hey, where kari atu? Aye. John yuko, nyuma yangu, wapendo yangu, ili muonekane. Nataka muonekane, diposa. Nataka muto enda upande uli. Aye, ingia kidogo dad. Aye, dubi yangu fanya hiyo. Asante ni mubarikiwe sana. Sasa tunaweza kuondoka.
aya ninatamani ni wale watoto tena wa baba warudi hapa wale watoto tena wa baba maana mnajua kuna wale ndugu zangu ambao hawakuweko na ipisha ni ya muhimu sana kwa hivyo turudi hapa watoto kwa hivyo nyie wote watoto wa marehemu na baba hii picha ya kweli is okay ha, wasi wasi fanye maana baba kwa strong tujipange tukaribie tu hapo vizuri ndio hiyo picha iwe nzuri kabisa karibia baba mkaribie baba kabisa ya yeah. push push kidogo ili hiyo picha aweze ataweza kuja karibia ndio hiyo uitoe vizuri sawa so, simameni hapo hapo msiondoke waume tena warudi hapa na watoto wenu ili sasa hiyo picha iwe complete Waume wao kwa haraka haraka tunaomba. Mnajua hii picha ilikuwa tupige kitabo lakini ndugu zetu wakawa hawapo. Watoto haraka. Waume za dada zetu hawa na watoto wao. Na tunaomba kwa sababu hawa binti wa marehemu kuna mahali pale ambapo wameolewa na wazazi wao wako hapa na familia zao ziko hapa tunaomba ninyie mnayefuata kwa hivyo tufanye kwa haraka tuje tafadhali tuje e aletwe mbele huko mandugu na wazazi ambao ni wa, wale ambao wameoa katika mboma hili mahali pale ambapo dada zetu hapa wameolewa mko wapi wale wa familia hizo hawapo na waona machemenji walikataa kuja hawapo bona na waita nyie nitafunga hiyo na kabisa mtapata nafasi nyingine Wewe kama ni wa familia mahali ambapo dada zetu wameolewa. Hii picha ni ya kwenu hii. Na kama mungekubali kupush kidogo tu ili sasa wasiwe wanakuja huko. Ili hiyo picha iwe inatokea vizuri maana inatokea mpaka jeneza tunalizimba. Kwa hivyo kama tungerudi nyuma tu kidogo itakuwa ni bora. Wengine waje hapa mama, mama yangu, njoa. Tukaribie ni jamani. Tukaribie ni itakuwa bora ni sahi, bora saidi tukikubali kukaribia ukienda ndani ya hema tena uonekani vizuri na hawa hawa ambao ni eh mwenyewe mnaweza hata kusquote hapo itakuwa bora saidi haya wale ambao wametoka gedhoya kule muranga watu wa muranga kwa haraka sana ni nyewe mnakuja kwa haraka tufanye haraka Asanteni watoto mubarikiwe Aha. Wale ambao ni ndugu wa baba yetu huyu mujitaalishe au mandugu Paulo na ndugu zako na wataka mujitaalishe Kwa hivyo Paulo na ndugu zako mjiadae kwanza msimame hapo hapo tayari na wake zenu pia na watoto wenu wajitaalishe maana nitaenda kuwaita. Kwa hivyo watu wa Gedhoya mko wapi watu wa Moranga? Karibia, karibia, karibia ili hawa wasiende kule. Na sisi tukaribie tafadhali. Hiyo ni ya ndugu zetu wapendwa wetu kutoka Moranga, picha hiyo. Karibia kidogo hata unaweza kwenda upande ule. Ndio uonekane vizuri. Pauro ninaenda kukuita wewe na ndugu zako. Karibu sana. Haraka Pauro na ndugu zako. Brothers wa, du, wa baba yetu. Alafu wake zao wajiandae kwa haraka. Wanakuja. Tuingie kwanza. Brothers waingie kwanza. Brothers waingie kwanza. Kisha ni yenu hiyo. Wake zao 
na watoto wao kwanza wake zao wajitaalicha wanaingia tujipange vizuri tujipange vizuri sisi si wengi ili hiyo picha iweze kutokea vizuri kuna mwingine hapa uro jo upande huu ili baba naye ajisukume hapa baba hii mkaribi U- uonekani umezimbwa e baba kama ungesukuma nyuma kidogo tu kenjo kidogo kidogo tena baba kidogo hapa tu hapa sawa sawa wake zao wake wao tafadhali kwa haraka wake wao tafadhali na watoto wao wote waje kwa haraka tunamaliza hii picha sasa msiondoke wake zetu wanakuja kubetea na mnaoomba wake wenu ye eh hey. jamani tulaisishe kazi hii ukisikia ni wewe unayeitwa fanya haraka itakuwaje umeketi chini na tunawaita ipige Asante. Naona tumemaliza. Tunaweza tukaketi. Pengine kuna picha tumeacha baba ambao unasikia ni lazima ipigwe. Watu wa kanisa ile ambao wakosi walikuwa na huduma. Ah, basi hiyo nilitaka niingilie hiyo lakini kwa upande wa hapa. Ile kama ya hapa sio ya Nairobi. Ya Nairobi nyinyi mchikilie na nyinyi mjiandae, ni nyinyi mtakuja. Kamati ya Nairobi na nyinyi mjiandae. Lakini kamati ambayo ilikuwa inakutana hapa haraka iwezekanavyo basi nipigie hiyo picha tumalize ya yeah, tujipange tu baba piga hiyo tumalize maana yake wanakataa kutokea kwa haraka okay naita kamati ambayo ilikuwa ya hapa ukikosa kufanya haraka kabisa tunaondoka Asante sana. Mubarikiweni. Kamati ya Nairobi kwa haraka. Kamati ya Nairobi kwa haraka. Nyie wa Nairobi nyinyi ni chapu chapu. Utaipata vizuri. Nitakupa muda baba. Kwa hivyo tupiga hiyo picha panja. Wa kamati wa Nairobi. Ona ya kwamba nyenye wa Nairobi mnajua jinsi ya we bosco kumbe we umeanza kuzeeka baba yani unakaa nyuma ya picha utapatikana hao ndio walikuwa wanakamati wa Nairobi ambao wamefanya kazi kubwa mno mubarikiweni sana na bwana asante bwana wabariki na watende mema basi uh, kuna kanisa mimi naenda kumaliza mambo ya picha sasa kanisa alilokuwa analishunga mchungaji picha ya kwenu hii kwa hivyo askofu hapo moja kwa moja wale ambao ni washirika wa kanisa nyinyi ndio ambao familia nyingine ambao kabisa imefiwa kwa hivyo wale ambao wa mama yes naambiwa picha ya malafiki wewe umetoka kila mahali ambako umetoka kwa ajili ya baba we ulikuwa rafiki wa baba ulikuwa rafiki ya mama ulikuwa rafiki ya watoto wao hivyo hivyo kwa hivyo na wewe ujiandae baada ya picha hii ni wewe unaingia kwa hivyo hii ni ya wachungaji picha ya wachungaji hii ah, kumbe mtu akiwa akiwa amelebeka kuliko wote analinga kidogo asante asante weka mlembo haya tupige hiyo picha asanteni Mubarikiwe ni sana. Sasa malafiki kutoka kila mahali. Mara, malafiki kutoka kila mahali. Umetoka Nairobi, umetoka Mombasa, umetoka Nyauru, umetoka Isiolo, wewe rafiki ya baba, rafiki ya mama, rafiki ya watoto, nafasi yenu. Na ninaenda kuifunga. Naenda kuifunga. Mpaka upande ule pia. Amen. Hebu ni wote tusimame. 
Naomba wote tusimame. Naomba wote tusimame. Aya, basi tuketi sasa. Nilitaka huo kunyamaza huko ndio nilikuwa natafuta. Mubarikiwe ni sana. Kwa wakati huu tuko na ndugu yetu ambaye ni ambaye ni ambaye anatuelekeza ambaye atafanya welcoming na ni ndugu yetu Lawrence John Bas naambiwa ndugu yetu John kuna mabadiliko kidogo kwa hivyo karibu sasa ndugu yetu John na ninaomba tupewe microphone nyingine na sijui kama tuko na sanitizer tuliambiwa na ningetamani okay chairman tumekuja kazi unajua eh kwa hivyo najua nitakutumia sanitizer iko wapi maana nitataka tupewe microphone nyingine Alvin Ya, yeah, endelea. Haya, karibuni sana. Kwa majina anaitwa John Isika. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Amen. Shalom. 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 Karibuni sana. Karibuni sana. Mimi nimeogoka. Mimi nimeogoka ni ndugu yake Alfred. Na na tumefariki, tume tumefurahi tume sana vile mmekuja huku kwetu kutembelea nduguni. Ah, yangu, yangu ni machache. Nataka tu nataka tu niwaelekeze. Ah, ah, kama, kama kuna mtu ako na haja baada ya kujisaidia ni nyuma unaona unaona kuna njia hapa utaelekea hapo ufike pale kwa manyu kama unaaja kama unaaja utaenda uh, karibuni sana mimi sina bengi tena tumefurahi sana kwa watu waliotoka Nairobi wenye wametoka Mombasa karibuni sana karibuni sana huku wetu asanteni uh, jamani si tumpige makofi amesema vizuri sasa tumejisikia tumefika asante sana Jamani ninatamani si vizuri tumtumie chairman kuwa kitufanyia sanitizing ya hii. Kwa hivyo ninge kama ningepata kijana mmoja aje asaidiane na ah ule baba asante. Jo jo unisaidie. Eh wewe wewe apigie makofi baba huyu. Apigie makofi ndugu yangu huyu. Asante kumbe wewe ni chupavu namna hii. Hata nywele ya kwako utanionyesha na kwangu hii tutaifanya namna gani jamani. Eh asante wewe nami hapa ili sanitizer ikija wewe mwenyewe ndio na sanitize hiyo machine kila wakati. Apigiwe makofi tena. Asante. Basi e, keti hapo, keti hapo. Tunajua kuna serikali. Na kwa kweli tunatamani tujue na tuelewe mahali hapa ambapo tupo kuko namna gani. Kwa hivyo kama assistant chief ama chief ama mtu wa serikali ambaye yupo tunatamani aje ili aweze kutunenea tumpige mama yetu makofi jamani asante mama asifiwe yesu amen asifiwe tena amina mimi nampenda yesu nimeokoka yesu ni ni mshindi wa maisha yangu eh, alafu eh, uangalie upande ule ule mtu anataka kuone oh huyu eh okay eh, kwa niaba ya chief ameshikana kidogo na amenituma na amepeana pole zake kwa marafiki na mandugu ya nyumba ya Isika kwa hivyo muwe umepata pole za chief tangazo ile ingine niko nayo ni ya kuhusu covid 19 e, kila mmoja lazima atimize sheria za serikali za kuhusu covid 19 iko tena na watu watimize kuvaa maski e, tangazo la pili kuna vacancy ya kuandikwa assistant chief hapa Mbunguni hiyo ni ya huku kwetu sasa si ya Nairobi eh, asi, a, eh? <laughs> ni ya wenyeji wa mtito andei location kwa hivyo wa, wa apply kazi na tarehe 15 mwezi wa saba na ile inatakikana ni mtu ambayo anaitimu C minus and above na hiyo ukiapply kazi upeleke kibwezi before that day. E, kile kiko nimewakaribisha sana. Mimi ndiyo mwenye mzee wa kijiji wa hapa kwa Isika 
panaitwa Silanga village kwa hivyo tumempoteza mama mpendwa ambaye tulikuwa tunampenda na kwa serikali tumempoteza mmoja wetu kwa hivyo tumepoteza kwa serikali na tumepoteza kwa hii kijiji yetu asante asante sana tumpigie makofi asante ndio shukua hiyo basi kwa nafasi hii kuna wale ndugu zangu ambao walikuwa wananibebea hema hili wako wapi wale wanaume wanaume wa, wanne tena kwa haraka tafadhali kwa haraka ili tuweze kurudisha gazebo hii mahali pake tukae hivyo ah inasemekana tukae hivyo hivyo ni sawa basi kwa muda huu ndugu wetu Mwangi naomba tafadhali kwa kwa niamba ya familia ambako ametoka marehemu ndugu wetu Mwangi ndiye anayetunenea kwa hivyo karibu unapokea microphone kule na Mwangi anafuatwa kwa kwa ajili ya ndugu wetu uh, familia ya baba yetu huyu ni ndugu wetu Paulo na wewe ujiandae asante mwiaseo Mwe aso ingi. Gaini museo. Vinda yothe. E. Jita wa Frank. Tusianiwe na nyawa Junior. Ni mkuu wakwa. Bauni twaelewa. Okay. Babe they and my coast central uh, western kwa ui to switch language eh tulene eh, national language sikweli kiswahili kiswahili tuwa eh twelewa eh eh alama ya ziki kama mama nyamba ube undu tuwa <laughs> eh beno bungu Ma junior ule tumeleta kupumzisha wakati wa leo amekuwa sister na zaidi ya sister amekuwa kama mama yetu praise the lord ah uh, sijui kama baba junior anajua mama junior alikuwa rafiki ya baba sana my father na ndugu yangu mkubwa wako pale atawabia kama mimi ninasema uongo tulikuwa tumeambiwa na baba usiwaachilie huyu sister yenu alikuwa anampenda sana akasema mimi sijasema asiende lakini akapata shida mkiwa karibu itakuwa baya na tukakaa hivyo kwa maana hata vile tulizungumza na ndugu yangu mkubwa Bosco eh, kwetu tunasemanga ngombe ilikuwa na maziwa wakati imefanya nini hiyo ni uongo kwa huyu it was a true story ilikuwa kitu ya inatoka ndani ya roho yake alitupenda zote na tulizungumza na boss sijui wakati tulikuwa tunaenda kwa committee tukasema mama juni ameenda na vile sisi tunamjua ukiwa na shida hata kama ni mgojwa atakuwa hapo hapo kwa hivyo tulikuwa tumeambiwa na baba hata shaba kama mnaona hata tosheka mpatie hata shaba lakini tumekuja tukakaa na baba junior na baba junior akawa responsible na tukakubaliana zote tumwachilie kwa huyu mzee sababu amekuwa aliingia jamii yetu kabisa na kwa hivyo nikipenda kusema tulifanya mapenzi hiyo sitaki kuzungumza sana kwa niaba ya jamii ile kitu ningependa kusema 
Mama Junior. Umeenda. Tunakutuma na salamu. Usalimie mama. Salimie Yesu. Salimie baba. Duguzamku wale wako huko. Wa upade huu na upade huo mwingine. Kwa huu ukifika, wabie tuko sawa. Mungu wa metulinda. Sita kusema mengi. Uh, ile nikisema, tumeshukuru sana. Kwa vile, tumekaribishwa mahali hapa. Pia, kwa mikutano hii, mina sikiaka ya, ya, ya siyasa watu wanasema, wakamba, Kwa kikuyu ni adhoni. Sindio? Kwa kikaba, kwa kikuyu, hiyo ni musemo. Lakini kwa jamii ya muangi, ni ukweli. Sindio? Kwa hivyo hapa, tunasikia tuko nyubani, na tunashukuru baba junior, na wote wabawa metukaribisha, na niseme mbarikiwe nyote. Asante sana. Asante sana. Tumpigi wa makofi safadari. Thank you very much. Hey, Anna Michael, Robin. yeah, dugu yangu unashukua, unaisanita hizi vizuri, asante. Dugu yetu, Paulo. Asante, anayisi, jina ni Paulo Esika, na mtambia machache, kuhusu mama, adio mama. Huyu mama ana sifa nyingi sana. Na sitaweza kutaja zote. Angalia kamera Paulo upande huu nyuma yako. Huyu mama alikuwa kipenzi cha wengi. Alikuwa mke. Alikuwa mama. Alikuwa nyanya. Sisi tuko wengi tulio muita dada yetu. Kuna wale walio muita mtoto wetu. Pia, huyu mama alikuwa kiongozi. Katika kasi ya bwana, mama alikuwa mpulizi. Na chochake kilikuwa soko, ama bisho. Kwa hivyo mwano kwa kasi ya bwana, aposo ni ya kwa hivyo ni bisho. Aoki ya posto. Kwa hivyo sikuwa sake ni mimi, sila heza kuzitake. Sasa hapa na mba nyonge kukidogo kuhuzi kwa mjua hivyo. Kwa hivyo mama wakwege ya viungo mna mlefu, aliteseka sana na mwili. Lakini kwa kile tuni mungu walikuwa na fulaa, kwa watu walikuwa tambui. Lakini alilasu wa kuse mingi, kwanza kalazo. Ya pida kalazo tena kwa mata akapona, akarudi nyumbani, akakaa. Sabari ya pidi ya kalazo wa kia hospital. Pia karudi nyumbani akapona. Na alipokuwa pale nyumbani, pia kulikuwa na daktari ya kwa na mudumia. Alikuwa na mudumia na huyu tuko na yapa. Anaitua Dr. Mesa. Dr. Mesa suya kwa piogela sana kwa kumpenda wa, kumpenda wa, wa gonjo wako. Sasa, nakini sabari yake ya mwisho, alipelekwa kijabe. Hapa kukaa sana. Mungu akamuita. Sasa baada ya kumuita ndio kazi ngumu ikaanza. Kamati ikaundwa ili waweze kushirikia mambo ya bilu na vile ataletwe huku nyumbani sababu ni mbali. Sasa hapo kamati ikaundwa haraka haraka chini ya wenyekiti wa askari subabu sana meja Mwaula mwingi wa mingi wa, wa maarifa na vile nimetaja askari sababu na kamiti hiyo ikafanya kazi mingi na nzuri kuliko maelezo kwa sababu kulikuwa na mama moja nitamtaja anaitwa Tafidha ukipenda muite pasta huyu mama alipewa kazi ya ya kwa pressure mweka sina alifanya kazi nzuri sababu kila shilingi aliipandia aliipangia mambo yake yakaingia vile anavyotakana na mambo yetu ikawa rahisi na pia kazi yake haikufika hapo tu huku mama ndiye alikuwa manager alikuwa anahudumia wote waliokuwa naingia kule nyumbani 
Nairobi sasa kuna baridi ya ajabu. Kila mmoja alipoingia pale getini alikuwa anakalishwa na kikombe cha chai. Na kuna wale waliokuwa na lala pale. Pia alifanya alihakikisha kwamba wanasoma. Umama alikuwa na organize. Aliyomsaidia wa karibu pia ni mama mwingine anaitwa Madam Sara. Umama naye ndiye alikuwa anaweka rekodi yetu. Alikuwa anakukumbusha kila siku ni lipi la kufanya leo na ni kipi cha kufanya kesho. Pia na nini tulichosahau. Kwa ufupi hawa mama wawili ndiyo walikuwa baga bon ya hii committee. Sasa baada ukamilisha kazi ndiyo tumeamua tuje huku. Tuje tumlete marehemu ambao ni dada yetu huku. Sababu tukakuta watu wengine na kabla hapo tulikuwa committee ngoja nitaje kidogo. Kuna watu waliofanya kazi kubwa kwa hiyo committee. Nitataja tu lakini sitataja kazi yao sababu ya muda. Kuna watu kama wanajoroke wana data bwana Richard sivyo kama amefika Bosco na watu wengine lakini pia sio watu wa Nairobi waliofanya kazi pia watu wa Mombasa walifanya kazi kubwa ya kupendeza kina Lawrence John pia na Leonard na huku nyumbani pia kuna watu walifanya kazi tumeona sababu hatungekuja kama tatuge kuja kutayarisha tukishafika hapa kuna wale waliofanya na hawa ni kina Simon na wengine kwa hivyo watu tunawashukuru sana kwa mambo hayo mliyofanya na sasa sababu muda uni, uh, unini, muda sio rafiki nitaongea tu nita, sasa nikushukuru nitashukuru wote mliyofika hapa nyote majirani na watu waliotoka mbali asandeni sana kuja kusaidia hii kazi ngumu na watu wa Kadara mwahakishia kwamba isipokuwa tumefungukiwa lakini bado tuko tu pamoja hakuna kilichofunguka tuko pamoja sababu ni mapenzi ya Mungu na shalti na Mungu lazima litendwe kwa hivyo tutafumilia nitatambua tu wachache ambao walioka kama kuna mada yetu mungu wa leo toa kilinyaga kuna ndugu wetu mimi anaitwa Steven Yatua amekuja na kijana wake kutoka kilinyaka anaitwa Kilonzo na wengi tu ambao ambao siwatambui sasa si waona si watambua sasa alafu kati kwa hii kazi yetu kuna kitu nilikuwa nimesahau kidogo sisi tupokuwa kwa mkutano tulikuwa pia na shirikiana na na watumishi ya Mungu naomba bwana MC niliwataje kulikuwa na bishop Ferista tulikuwa nao tumekaa nao bishop Margaret bishop Maria Faith pia namtambua pastor Musendi hao watu walikuwa wanasindikisha kwa maombi ili shetani na vituko vyake asifate nafasi pia kule nje kulikuwa na pastor wengine ma bishop naona hapa lakini majina ndiyo nimesahau walikuwa naongoza ibada praise and worship kweli pale nilikuwa kama kanisani watu waliombewa na shetani na vituko vyake hakufanikiwa kuingia asande sasa watu wa kadara na watu wa kati kwa kati wa watu familia ya Mwangi na familia ya mzee Daniel Morris isika kamwaki nawaambia tujipe moyo sababu shari na Mungu lazima litimie na siku za mtu zikifika lazima aende sababu Mungu hawezi kuulizwa maswali na siri za Mungu watu watujui Mungu toa na Mungu toa Asandeni sana. Asante tumpige makofi. Thank you very much. Asante sana ubarikiwe. Basi anaye tunenea ni rafiki wa jamii hii kutoka Nairobi na ni Meja Mohoro. Meja. Ni vile nimeandikiwa. Basi hata leo tunaweza kukupatisha lingine. Lakini Meja hana shida. Asante ni. Ah uh, bwana Yesu asifiwe. Mimi kufupisha nitachukua nita, niko na kofia bili. Hiyo nimepewa ya rafiki ya Nairobi na nitaogea pamoja kama uh, vile mmesikia meja chama na kamati ile imekuwa ikiogoza hii uh, mazishi kule na Nairobi. Kwa hivyo nikizikanisha uh, usisikie uh, kama kuna shida. First of all kama rafiki 
wa jamii hii ya apostle mimi nimezoea kumuita reverend niko mwingine anapenda kumuita uh, apostle lakini mimi najua ma, ma, mahali niliacha ilikuwa reverend hawakuniambia hiyo ingine wao ndio wanajua <laughs> kwa hivyo mimi kama alifika hapo nasema kwa Mungu ni hogera na kwa hivyo kama rafiki mimi nasema tumempoteza rafiki wa ukweli na nikitaka kusema urafiki sio rafiki ya juu juu sababu huyu mama amekuwa rafiki wa kila aina wa kila aina ya mtu watoto kina mama kina baba na vijana amekuwa rafiki amekuwa kiongozi ya wao wote akiwapea masharti ama akiwapea guidance ya vile wataweza kuishi katika uhai huu na yake hakuwa anawaelekeza mahali ingine alikuwa kila mara uh, na waelekeza kwa kanisa na neno la Mungu kwa hivyo yeye ni shupavu ambaye tumempoteza na Mungu mahali amemchukua anaona na amesikia vile tunataka kusema yeye nikiendelea kusema kama jamii amekuwa rafiki wa dani kabisa nilimfahamu ama nilimjua tagu 2006 hapo ndio niliona akianza kushirikiana na familia ya kwangu wakati brother ya mke wangu alikuwa amelazwa hospitali alikuwa anatebea kilomita mbili kila saa sita bila kuchelewa kwenda kumuobea kwenda kumpelekea chakula kusiwe hakuna mtu wa familia amekuja yeye alikuwa huko kila siku ndio nikauliza mke wangu bona huyu mama ni nani huyu anakujaga kila siku ndio akaanza kunielekeza kuniebia na hata hapo pengine wajua ni kama vile Uh, kijana hutafuta uh, msichana so ni kama hiyo ndio ilikuwa inatafutika ndio aweze kuwa anaingia katika familia tangu wakati huo tumekuwa rafiki na tumekuwa tumeshikana kifamilia familia yangu na familia ya bwana isika mpaka mimi nasikia nimejinyenyekea sana i'm hard sababu watoto kina Terry kina Lilian hawaniiti jina lingine wananiita dadi hiyo ni kuonyesha vile hiyo uh, urafiki ilikuwa imeingia bwana isika hawezi hata tukisalimiana hawezi niita meja vile mnasema anaanzaga na brother tukiendelea hata ndio anasema meja lakini ya kwanza anaanza na brother so hiyo ni urafiki ule uko ndani ya familia yangu na familia yake. Kwa hivyo kwa niaba ya kamati na familia yangu mimi nasema sababu hilo ni pedo la Mungu tutakubali vile ilivyo. Na urafiki ule, ule apostle aliweka kati ya wewe na mwingine. Kuna wengi hapa wameshikanishwa na aposto. Uendelee kudumu uogozi ule alipeana kama ni kwa kanisa wale watu mmeona wamesimama hapa watu wa kanisa muendelee kuichukua ama kuiga ile mfano wa aposto huyu amelala hapa amina kwa hivyo nyinyi muwe mmejishikia kwa familia this is mpige makofi rafiki wa karibu wa jamii tafadhali kwa sababu ya mda nikikupatia nafasi sasa muda wako ni dakika moja na ikiendelea sana iwe dakika mbili ninakuomba kwa sababu ya muda kwa hivyo kwa wakati huu tunaye dada yetu Tabitha ambaye ataongea kwa niamba ya kanisa kwa niamba ya kanisa naona tumepewa Tabitha Tabitha yuko wapi lafiki wa ambaye anayenena ni kutoka kanisani kanisa alafu anafuatwa na lafiki mwingine pale kutoka Nairobi 
sijapewa jina kwa hivyo rafiki wa Nairobi naomba tafadhali na atafuatwa na rafiki kutoka Mombasa kutoka Mombasa tutaenda rafiki kutoka Motito asanteni eh na wasalimu nyote katika jina la Yesu hamjambo hatujambo ah ni, jina langu nimesikia vile nimeitwa Tabitha wa Mwaura na Mwaura ni huyo ametoka kuongea mbele yangu na ninasimama mbele yanyu nikinyenyekea nikijua kwamba ah hata sijui niseme nini kwa sababu huyu mama ah, I, I don't know I don't hata hatu hata uwezi eleza jua kuanza na, ku, na kumaliza tumekuwa na yeye kwa huduma muda mrefu sana na amekuwa a mentor a confident a friend and a leader in the church Bwana Yesu apewe sifa e, sisi kama kanisa kanisa letu linaitwa Holy Spirit of Prophecy na sisi kama kanisa e, tumepoteza a, a jewel Haleluya kanisa tumepoteza a jewel Bwana Yesu apewe sifa a, a person ule u, ukiwa na shida hata saa nane ya usiku unampigia simu na na, na kuchukulia na mnaongea na unamwambia shida zako na kama nimedanganya chukua moja wa kanisa umuulize kama sio hivyo sio sio ye akuhudumia tu kanisa alihudumia watu wengi without akuwa anaweka boundary ya kanisa alihudumia wa Catholic wa, wa PCA wa SK whoever alikuja in her life alimhudumia alim bwana Yesu apewe sifa nikisema amehudumia mnaweza kosa kuelewa eh vile ninamaanisha na maanisha kwamba Mungu alimpa kipawa cha kuona na kujua vile bingu inaongea Nani anaelewa kile nasema? Yaani Mungu alimpa kipawa cha unabii. Na alishika Mungu alimshikanisha na watu wengi ambao sio kanisa tu na akawahudumia na wakapata ushindi. Haleluya. Mimi hapo niko na ninajua what I can stand here and say that our dear apostle here is in heaven. Haleluya kani unaweza tolea unaojua ule mtu unaweza tolea ushuhuda ni kwa sababu tumetembea na yeye mashida zije simu 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 hivi unajua kuna mtu ambaye hana mashida zake zake binafsi wacha sasa za kanisa ana 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 ananiambia ma, ma, uh, ma pasta tutaendelea mashida ziwe sisi kuwe sisi tutaendelea mbele kumwamini Mungu kumtazamia Mungu na tutahubiri ijiri haleluya yeye ni yeye hiyo pale imefika sasa ina apply ile kitu alikuwa na kitu kingine alikuwa anaita crazy faith haleluya huyu mama hapa amelala ameombea watu wakafufuka na si moja. Na si sema uongo bele yenu. They are here hata walivuvuka na wengine wako hapa tuko nao. Walikuwa wameenda. Lakini usiulize swali ati kwa nini yeye alienda? Baraza pe sifa. Kwa sababu ya Mwana, ya Mungu tutajua kuna mambo tunasemanga, mimi nasemaka kuna mambo zingine tutajua tukifika huko mbinguni. Bwana Yesu apee sifa. Haleluya. Eh nilipewa dakika ngapi? Simeisha. Haya. <laughs> Chukua mic. Na huyu uh, you cannot you will jaisa. Pasta you can't. Bwana Yesu apee sifa. Eh wacha nisimame hapo. Asante. Apigiwe makofi tafadhali. Thank you very much. Hapa ninaambiwa na kwa kweli ameishi Nairobi. Alikotoka kwa huko Muranga hata igawa sikupewa jina ni la mtu nani atakaye nena kutoka marafiki wa Nairobi. Kwa hivyo ni kusema pengine wewe ndani yako ulikuwa unasikia kama ningepata nafasi ningesema hili tu ambayo niketishini. Kwa hivyo kuna nafasi ambayo imejitokeza tu ambayo haikuweko. 
hauko uipate hii kwa hivyo wewe ni rafiki kutoka Nairobi unaweza kusimama mahali uliko ufanye haraka uje useme kitu tafadhali kwa haraka Teresia wake mani dero motene wewe wagwera uko wapi Teresia wake mani imesemekana ni wewe kutoka Nairobi utaongea kwa niamba yao Asante apikiwe makofi tafadhali mulete 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 hiyo microphone lakini unahitajika uwe kule kwa sababu ya kamera kwa hivyo asante 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 sana dakika moja mama bwana asifiwe amen kwa majina ni kama hivyo nimeitoa Teresia Kimani nimeokoka Yesu ni bwana nataka kuongea kuhusu huyu mama kwa ule muda mfupi ambaye nilimjua huyu mama nilimjua wakati mzee wangu alikuwa amegojeka na wakati alisikia mzee wangu amegojeka alisimama na mimi mpaka wakati mzee wangu aliaga bwana asifiwe hakuwa ananiacha alikuwa anakuja tunaomba na nikaona mkono wa Mungu na kutoka wakati huo watoto wangu ni kama watoto wake kwake nyumbani nilikuwa natembea kama ni kwa sister yangu bwana asifiwe kuna wakati nilikuwa nampigia simu na mwambia leo usipike ni mimi nitakupikia mokimo nitakuletea na nilikuwa naenda tunafurahia na jamii yake iko ina witness hivyo kwa hivyo nimepoteza rafiki wa ajabu kwa sababu yale mambo tulikuwa tunaongea na yeye na yale tulikuwa tunasaidiana na yeye naona ni kama ukweli hakuna mtu anaweza simama kwa hiyo pengu bwana apewe sifa amen mama yetu aende salama asante apigie makofi jamani mama asante ubarikiwe sana kwa chukushu kwa muda mfupi saidi kulikuwa kumetolewa pia nafasi ya watu wa Mombasa wa Mombasa wako wapi Sinionye kwa mkono kwa sababu sikupewa ni nani atakayeongea lakini tumpate mmoja wa Mombasa. Ah. Watu wa Mombasa jamani waoga. Haya. Tunairuka hiyo. Lafiki mmoja kutoka hapa nyumbani, hapa mtito. Unajua tukiwa tukikosa kupatia watu wa mtito nafasi. Hapa hata maji hampati. Kwa hivyo tafadhali kuna nafasi kwa sababu ya lafiki wa mtito. Malafiki watu kutoka hapa nyumbani hapa mtito tupate mmoja atakaye nena kwa niaba ya wao. Asante. Aha. Baba amesema na unajua kama baba amesema una lingine. Eh, hey, asante. Na salimu katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Amin, amin. Jina langu ni Henry Muli Mbilo. Mbilo ndiye baba yangu. Kwanza niwashukuru watu wa mtito kwa kunitunukia fursa hii niweze E, kutoa risala za rambi rambi zetu kwa niaba yao. E, isika na mbilo ni majirani tumepakana hapa na hapa. Kwa hivyo hii ni familia ambayo e, tumefahamikiana nayo kwa muda mrefu tangu e, tuweze kuja kuishi huku. Aa sana na vijana wake. Nafahamikiana sana na familia nilikuwa nikijua baba wa hapa na wao pia walikuwa marafiki kama sisi. Kwa hivyo sisi kama majirani kama watu wa mtito tunatoa risala zetu za rambi rambi kwa jamii jamaa familia na kwa kila mmoja na tuseme kwa kifupi kwamba Mwenyezi Mungu amweke apostle Jen malipe mapeponi. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Ubarikiwe sana. Asante tunashukuru sana. Uh, nafikiria ninaenda kutamatisha kwa upande ambao ni wa speeches na muda huu ninataka sasa niweze kuset ku, ku pace kwa sababu tunakaribia ili tuweze uh, kuingia na kupeana ibada sasa kwa mchungaji ili wachungaji waweze kutuelekeza lakini kabla ya hiyo jamani ninapenda nishukuru Mungu sana kwa sababu ninajua mahali hapa wachungaji wamejaa tumejaa na, na wachungaji kwa hivyo kwa dakika hii ili vile vile tuweze kuokoa muda ningetamani uh, cha kwanza niulize washungaji wote wale ambao tunaowaita kwa sababu pia tunapoongea kuhusu washungaji tuna vitengo kwa hivyo kitengo cha kwanza cha washungaji ambacho ninatamani nikiite ni wale ambao tunaowaita pastors kwa hivyo wewe kama ni pasta naomba mahali popote pale ulipo usimame kama wewe ni pastor wewe ni pastor kubali tu kusimama. Si jamani tuwapigie makofi watu wa Mungu hawa. Amina amina. Mubarikiwe. Tusimameni tu. 
naomba ili tuweze kuokoa na kwa sababu si wengi litaje jina lako tu kwa hivyo wapo microphone uliseme jina tu unahubiri na kanisa gani tuondoke hapo Bwana asifiwe. Amen. Nilikuwa nimetaja jina langu naitwa Tabitha wa Maura nimeokoka Kristo ni Bwana. Tulikuwa tunahudumu na huyu mama kanisa katika kanisa linaloitwa Holy Spirit of Prophecy liko pale Kariobagi South. Bwana wabariki. Tunipigie makofi. Asante sana. Hivyo hivyo mama amesema ni hivyo tutakavyofanya. Amina. Bwana asifiwe sana. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Watu wa Motito Andei, Mwaseo. Mwaseo. Na kwa ni Mwaseo. Ni Mutangi ye, Mwokoka, Yesu ni Bwana. Majina ni Pastor Patrick Musembi wa Mbua. Na kaa katika mji wa Ruilu. Kwe tu ni Mboni. Mboni mbali sana kutoka hapa. Na Yesu ni Bwana. Mama uya likuwa Rafiki wetu. Bwana wabariki. Amen. Asante sana mchungaji. Asante sana wabarikiwe sana na Bwana. Hallelujah. Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Kwa majina ya Pastor Elijah, nimeokoka Yesu ni Bwana na minister na kanisa la God's Grace pale Pipeline and uh, Apostle Hedith. Uh, Hedith ni mke wa Njao na uh, Baba Hedwin. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. I have known Jane for some time. She is a humble servant of God. And I know if we can emulate her ways we all gonna enter to heaven. God bless you and my condolences to the family. Asante. God bless you. Uh, Tumpige makofi mchungaji. Asante ubarikiwe sana. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Kwa majina ni Peter Mongi. Na liye lazo hapa. She is my aunt. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Na shiriki na kanisa la Winners Chapel International Thika. Nigetaka tu kufariji jamii na kila moja abaya me amepatikana na huu msiba ya kwamba neno la Mungu lasema katika Hebrews chapter 9 and verse 27 that man is appointed to die once mm. and there after judgment so every one of us here we have our appointment with God mm. God bless you Amen Asante sana mchungaji Mwangi Mwangi ni wa familia hii ubarikiwe sana bwana kubariki basi naomba mareverend wote tulio na wao wasimame wewe ni katika kitengo cha reverend naomba simama Ma reverend wote tulio na wao. Haya, naona hapo hatuna lakini naamini tuko na maaskofu. Kama wewe ni askofu, naomba simama. Isipokuwa askofu wetu ambaye atakayetuelekeza. Ama wewe ni aposto, uh, ama wewe ni, ni nabii eh, pale tu, naomba tusimame. Jamani tuwapigie makofi. Asanteni. Na kwa sababu vile vile sio wengi na si vizuri ni nisimame wakati ambao nyie mnapoongea nitakashi ni, lakini naomba tuokoe muda singetaka mfungiwe kwa hivyo naomba tuwapelekee microphone dakika moja moja tu ili tuweze kuelekea moya sio ando ma mtito wa ndai bwana Yesu asifiwe mimi ni Cornelius Gedenji Uh, ni rafiki wa familia hii ya mama Junior na nina hudumu na kanisa la Christ Bible Church kule Nairobi sehemu inaitwa Ndadora mbarikiweni sana Asante sana tumpigie makofi asante Bwana asifiwe sana Amen Mimi ni Apostle Cornel Laura nina hudumu katika ministry ambayo inaitwa Levitical Apostolic Ministries International ambayo iko, iko Ruiru na iko, 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 iko town katikati na iko sio kimao mbarikiwe sana asante asante tumpige makofi tafadhali amen bwana yesu asifiwe amen naitwa apostle peter washira na hubiri na bethany faith ministries hapo nairobi mungu awabariki asante sana mtumishi bwana kubariki sana tumpige makofi jamani amen bwana yesu asifiwe amen Yoke jirani yako mpe salamu za Mungu kwa jina la Yesu. Mpe jirani salamu za Mungu kwa jina la Yesu. Haleluya. Tunashukuru Bwana. Mtu asipokusalimia mwambie jamani angalia mfuko wangu, mfuko wangu si. Mtu asipokusalimia achunguza mkono wake, mkono wake unaweza kuwa kwa mfuko yako. 
Amen. Amen. Mucho mungu wa sambu ya ina Ina Nina witu wa mtume wa runga Nina mshukuru buwana kwa ajili ya wakati huu Nina udumu na Christ Deliverance Ministry Uchu kwa Nairobi Mama alikuwa ni mama yangu Buwana wabarita Amen Asante Tumpige makofi tafadhali Asante Maaskofu Maaskofu tulio na wawo Ama nye kuna mahali pale ambapo mna inge Asante Buwana wabariki na matene mema Basi Kwa nafasi hii kwa nafasi hii ninataka tuingie katika nimeambiwa nifanye mambo yote ili tukishamaliza mshungaji atashukua wataelekeza ibada na tutaweza kumaliza kwa kwa mwelekeo mzuri kwa hivyo kwa dakika hii naomba tunaenda kusomewa yuloje kwa hivyo ninataka kama kila jamani niulize kama mtu wako na yuloje kama uko na tafadhali ni wave nayo nionyeshe asante naona kweli simepeanwa kwa hivyo kwa muda huu yeye ambaye alitaalishiwa ya kwamba ama ninaona nimepewa jina lake Sara Data ndiye ambaye anaenda kutusomea Yuroje kwa hivyo naomba Sara Data karibu kwa kutusomea Yuroje and then pia kuna tribute kwa hivyo wale na wao walio na tribute waendelee kujiada po brother Mwangi ako na tribute na vile vile tuko na Lilian Isika pia na yeye atatusomea. Kwa hivyo kwa muda huu sala data kwa sababu ya kutusomea yuloji. Vile vile naambiwa kuna naona kuna tribute zingine kwa hivyo hakuna hata yule ambaye hata kaesoma endelea kujiada. Wewe ambaye kadri ya vile ambavyo imeratibishwa hivyo ndivyo tutakavyoendelea. Asante. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. Mimi naitwa Jedida, tamsimamia Sara she's a bit strong. Let's read the eulogy of Jane Wanja Isika. We start with birth. The late Jane Wanja was born at Mugondo village Ithiru location Kadara division Moranga county in 1956. Her parents were the late Geoffrey Mwangi Shege and the late Jemima Bamboi Mwangi. She was sister to the late Peter Shege, Gladys Mukina, Bosco Njau, the late David Nganga, Francis Joroge, Martin Gishuhi USA, the late Lucy Wairimo, Cyrus Boru, Patrick Ndeta, Minister of ICT, and Elijah Wainaina. She was niece to Beth Wanjiko, the late Alan Wanyoike, Paris Wamboi, Maria Wacho, USA, and Francis Tuku, among others. Daughter-in-law to the late Daniel Kamwaki and Teresia Kiasio of Mtito Andei. Mother to the late Paskrina Wangoi, Lenian Wamboi Isika, Albert Junior Isika, Terry Kiasio Isika, and Geoffrey Mwangi Isika, stepmother to Wilfred Kiasio, Wilfred Isika, and the late Jacqueline. Mother-in-law to Jean Lihika, Simon Nene Kuria, Juliet Loko, Mama Jillian, grandmother to Jason, Alvin, Julian, Dillian, Levi, Hazel, Grace, and to Anjiko, Waboi Mukina, Gatuha Mwangi, Kafati, Sami Bosco, SA, the late Luben, the red Caro, the late Tony, Mwangi Shege, Faith, Tabitha, Salome, Njau, Kimani, Waboi, and Mwangi Nganga. Karen, Jesse, Alfia, USA, Claire, Mugore, Stacy, Natasha, Ashley, Nicole, Immaculate, and many others. Upbringing. Apostle Jane was brought up like any other child by her parents in the African Independent Pentecostal Church of East Africa, AIPCEA Gakarara, where she was a choir member and a Sunday school teacher. She was an obedient child to her parents and a loving sister to her siblings. Education. The late Apostle Jane Wajajoin Kakarala Primary School in 
and did her CP in 1971. She joined Naro Secondary School in 1972 and later went to Roringo Girls Secondary School where she finished her secondary education. She later trained as a nurse at Githumu Hospital. Later she was employed in Nairobi in the music industry where she worked for many years. In 1980, the late Jane received Jesus Christ as her personal savior. She founded the Holy Spirit of Prophecy Ministry in Nairobi in the year 2005 where she served as the apostle assisted by Pastor Tabitha Mwaura and others. She preached the word of God both in Kenya and abroad, including the countries like United States of America, Germany, South Africa, Congo, and many others. She was still serving the Lord by the time of her untimely demise. Marriage. In the year 1978, Jane Wanja met the love of her life, Stephen Alfred Isika, and got married to him. Thereafter, they were blessed with children, namely Lillian Wambo Isika, Alba Junior Isika, Terry Kiaso Isika, and Geoffrey Mwangi Isika. She was stepmother to Winfred Kiaso, Wilfred Isika, and the late Jacqueline Sickness. The late Apostle Jane Wanja Isika fell sick in 2004 and was diagnosed with diabetes mellitus type 2 condition. Since then, she has been in and out of different hospitals. In the month of September 2020, she was admitted at Mata Hospital in Nairobi for two weeks, where she was treated and discharged. On 1st January 2021, she was again admitted at Care Hospital in Nairobi, where she stayed for a week, and later in September of the same year for another two weeks. On 14th of June 2022, she got very ill and was rushed to Care Hospital, where she was referred to Kijabe Mission Hospital. She was admitted in the ICU, where she stayed up to 20th June 2022, where she passed on at 12.30 a.m. She died at the age of 66 years. It is the Lord Gook who gave us Apostle Jane Wanjai Sika, and he has promoted her to glory. May his name be glorified always. Amen. 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 Situ mpiki makofi vizuri jamani. Asante sana dada yetu jamani mpaka nikashindwa. Bona watu wa awa wa magazeti na malidio na matifi hawako kuona usome news na mnaiyo mzuri hivyo. Asante. Mifanya kazi mzuri. Sasa ni wakati wa tribute. Na anaye tusomea kwanza. Of course ni ndugu yetu isika. Kwa hivyo baba karibu. Hili utupe tribute yako. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Uh, you know, <clears throat> I talk too much. I can talk, I can address people, I preach, I teach the word of God. But there are times when you fail to get words to qualify what you want to say. Wakati unafika, unashindwa na kupata neno inayo style kusema ile kitu unataka kusema. Nina uchungu rohoni na ninashindwa na kusema marhem nashindwa na kusema lit i don't know whom i am referring to huyu aliye hapa nimemjua miaka mingi mtu wa huruma mvumilivu amenifanya nikajua Yesu Hameubiri injili vile umesikia injini na outside the country. And those who know her, know that she has never preached prosperity. She has preached fear of sin. Ogo pathambi ndi omujua Yesu. Hame gonjeka na nimesumbuliwa na ugonjwa. Akili, kifedha, kimwili mpaka afya yangu ikathofika sijamuacha nimekaa na yeye nilikuwa nakaa kwa hospitali na wale walikuwa karibu wanajua kila siku nalala hospitali na kesha hospitali watoto wanakuja kunitoa the following day 
Natoka na hilo naoga na kaa hapo nje. Tani wia radhi nisungumuze. <coughs> Singeweza kufikisha ama tungeweza kumfikisha halipo sasa kama sikuwa na usaidisi. Hii si wakati wa kurudisha shukrani. Lakini kuna watu ambao siwezi kuwa mkamilivu kama sitawataja. Nataka kustaja jamii ya Meja Maura. Ndugu yangu kabisa kama kuna kitu inaitwa ndugu na mke wake Tabitha. Ni watu hakuna wakati nimewaita nikakosa kuwapata kwa simu. Ni wakati ambao wamejawasikia mahali niko wakakosa kuja. Na shukuru na mimi nasema sina la kufanya sina la kuwatendea isipokuwa Mungu tu yule ajuaje anajua vile atawajibu Nataka kushukuru jamii ya Mwangi Ni family imesimama na mimi ni family haijaniita shemeji wameniita ndugu Wamenisaidia kwa njia yote Kifedha kiusiano na siwezi kusahau na nitakuwa si hakika nikikosa kusema nimeshukuru have not read my tribute nataka kushukuru watoto wangu wamesimama na mimi wakiongozwa na Lilian siwezi kusahau siwezi kusahau Terry siwezi kusahau Junior siwezi kusahau Jeffrey na shukuru wajukuu wangu wamesimama na mimi na mnajua vile tulienda Mungu ni mwema wakati huu wakati aposo amegojeka mke wangu nimekuwa na msichana mzuri sana Msichana ambaye si binadamu ni mtume wa Mungu ni malaika wa Mungu na nitakuwa sina hakika na simu wa ukweli nikikosa kumtaja awatane Elsi Makena kama ako hapa simame. Elsi kama ako hapa simame. Asante sana Elsi. Elsi ametusimamia, amekuwa kama extension of our family. Amefanya mambo ambayo singefanya. Pastor Tabitha, God will really bless you. Nyumba ya ndugu yangu Patrick Kuria. Nyumba ya ndugu yangu Patrick Kuria. May God bless you. For what you have done to us, the support you have given to us, I cannot mention these words. I have got no good word to qualify this. Asante sana. Asante sana. Family ya jini lika, I cannot forget you. Thank you very much. Wale watu wamekesha kwetu nyumbani. You don't know how much you did to me. Sai kutaja klaji ambao wamekuweko lakini <sighs> Bishop Elista and your group I'll just say thank you very much you will have your time to talk let me try to read this tribute bear with me my brothers who are in Mombasa support you have given me I thank you my mother my brother who is here, my sister who has traveled all the way from Kiranyaga, and my cousins, Maria, Stephen Mutua, is Stephen Mutua like me, and Kilonzo. I cannot forget you. All these people, Mama Njuguna, you know, hakuna wakati ni mekuita, kakosa kusikia. Mama, kama Mama Cecilia. Buwana hawa bariki. Marafiki yangu. Marafiki yangu. Marafiki, Marafiki ya mutume. Ya mutume. I cannot thank you enough. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. All those people who have come here. I can't thank you. May God bless you. May God bless you. My brother Sakina Benson. I cannot forget you. I cannot forget you. I cannot call you a cousin. You are a brother. I cannot forget you. May God bless you. May God teach me how to pray so that I can be able to talk and thank these people in prayer. 
There are some things that are too hard only God can do. Nobody could have taken such a good person if it is not God. When I look and think and ask, what did he do? I cannot answer. This was a saint. Those who knew her. She has no malice. She had no malice. She carried no grudge. You could talk to her and she does she pretends not to hear because it doesn't praise God the word you are telling her. That was Apostle Jane. Okay. I'll read the tribute. From our physical sight you have actually gone, but deep in our hearts you remain. Your voice, voice of reason and advice will forever remain in our ears and souls. For you spoke the pleasantly, you spoke the pleasantly to all who heard you. A towering figure you were, felt, understood, and respected by all who knew you. Our tears may forever never dry, but for sure we know you have gone to where you loved, deserved, and belong. To the heart of the Lord you have gone, the one you served and loved without reservations. Our selfish longing and the pity may linger for long, but what can one expect after having been so cruelly plucked from our midst? We will gather together in unity and follow the Lord's guiding principles you so cherished. You are gone, but your presence will remain with us. For in our midst are Lillian, Albert, Terry, and Jeff. Your easy and forgiving manner will remain portrayed by Jason, your grandson. Your sternness and selflessness manner will, rem will, will remain seen through Julian and Dalian. Your voice of reason will forever be, ha will forever be heard through Levi, your grandson. Your radiant, your radiant face and bright smile will forever be seen through Alvin and Hazel Grace. Your spiritual duties will go on, for your spiritual children had the best teacher and mentor. You are gone, but never gone. For you will remain in our hearts forever. It is not easy to bear or accept, so the tears will flow as the pain will remain. Thank you. Thank you. Asante sana. Asante sana. Na amini kweli ni maneno ambayo ni ya moyo kwa sababu kwa kweli hakuna mwingine alie na uzito wa jambo hivi kama baba. Tuna kuelewa baba pole na ufarijike kwa sababu ya neno alilo kuelekeza mama hata kulipokea. Ubarikiwe sana na buwana. Basi, ndugu yangu mwangi, naona ni wewe unayosoma. Ok, naona data. Ata msaidia ndugu yetu mwangi kusoma. Tribute. Kwa ajili ya ndugu aki mnenea uh, dada yake. Asante. Good afternoon everyone. Good afternoon to you. My name is Patrick Data, as you've heard. And I'm going to read the tribute for my little sister. Take heart, man. Yeah, 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 I'm strong. Our dear sister Jane, it has no dawn on, on us that you are gone and we will never see or talk to you again on earth. Shaman Karibu, see Mama and I hapo. It's so hard to say goodbye. We expected you to pull through that devastating condition as you had done so many times when we took you to hospital unconscious. Sorry. And I'll continue. I had meant to read this because she was my, my best friend. And... I know she's listening to this. Uh, 
So yeah, I have a head I reach. A few days later, you would laugh it off with a lot of humor. When you got well, only this time, you never came out of the slumber. You were the fine figure in our family. As we listened, you listened to each one of us with, this, with our myriad of problems and offered good <coughs> solutions. You offered your ears and a shoulder to lean on in times of hardships. Your generosity, kindness, that as wife stand by him and stand by him yep to us was unmatched you never kept any grudge with not only us but even with everyone else as you were quick to forgive and forget you are the bishop in our family we cannot imagine living without you we will miss you dearly we will miss your smiles and infectious slaughter in our family gatherings and events. But we are consoled that you have gone to be with your father and creator who gave you to us. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. And we believe you are happier there. We have no doubt that there is a praise for you in heaven. And to God's hands, he will release you despite our heavy hearts. You will remain forever in our hearts. Fare thee well, our sister, till we meet again on that beautiful shore. Thank you. Let it be so that you release your dear sister to the able hands of the Lord. Thank you very much. Don't pick my coffee. Thank you. Yeah, Lillian, you must be very strong yeah, to stand and say, the good word to your departing mama. Take care to our sister. We understand. May you be comforted. Thank you for the strength, Lillian. Amen. This is to my mother. Mom. You are, you are precious, such a gift to us. So much beauty, grace, love, and patience you possessed. You touched my heart in gazillion ways. Even on the darkest of days, your strength and smile made me realize I had an angel beside me. I don't know how I will, I will do life without you, Mama. I am told to be strong, but what does strength do, li do like, Mama? How do I say goodbye to an incredible mom, a key beacon and a superhero? My heart bleeds, Mom, but I promise to take care of Dad and my siblings. You also told me that. <laughs> Good, good. I will carry that I will carry the mantle forward. Correct. I promise to also live for Christ just like you would have loved. I celebrate you today for being an alpha mom, such an inspiring soul. Always there for those who came to you with their troubles. Your home was open to everyone and your hospitality made everyone feel important. You are the most loving, humble, compassionate, understanding, family-oriented woman and one of the most beautiful souls that ever lived. I miss you, mommy. I loved you when you lived and even in death, I will only love you some more. The good Lord has taken you home. I am confident of this one thing, that you are singing Hosanna with the one who conquered the grave. Hallelujah. You fought well, Mama. You won hearts for Christ. You lived for Christ, and he lived in you. It's hard to let you go, but we have learned to say it is well. Amen. You taught us that through every trial, each test and temptation, there is nothing Jesus won't do. 
Even now we know that grace will abound. <laughs> Sleep well, our angel. <laughs> Rest Amen. in peace, my darling. Huroka dayo muratawa jeso. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much. Keep the promise. Keep the promise. You have to remain strong and powerful. Dad is there and the other sibling. Now, Albert, you are the man of the house. Where are you? Welcome. Albert. Remember, everyone is looking at you, man. You have to be very strong. I can't believe this. I won't believe this. My tribute was very, very brief. Um, I'm trying so much not to be very vulnerable, okay? So, um, let me just read this for you. Um, my name is uh, Albert Junior Isika, mm, Junior Oma Junior, and Jason uh, Nibuana. I came to face my greatest fear of my life when I lost my second God, my mom. Yes. Life shall be unbearable, I know, but I know you're in a better place than us, so we shall not mourn, but take this as a celebration of a life lived well in Christ. I won't say goodbye, because forever you will remain in my heart and my soul. To turn on up, but die. Thank you very much, man. Tom Pigema Coffee. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Albert. Remember the preacher. Junior, moment. Junior, Junior. Thank you, Junior. Spend your general, but. <laughs> okay, Junior. Don't pick your Junior, my coffee tena. Asante, Asante, Asante. And, uh, and we love it the way you have put it, Junior, that uh, muta tuonane baadae. Jinsi ya kupatana baadae, bas, tumugeti sa Jesus, Danietu. Ubarikiwe sana. Then, Telly, where are you? Welcome. I'm going to read the tribute of Terry Sika on behalf of herself. Back in the year 2021, you had God's, whis God's whispers calling you home, mom, but you did not want to leave us. We saw you fight. Oh, you fought mama. You loved us so much that you held on so tight up until that day that all your strength was gone and you could no longer hold. Finally, you gave your hand to God and, you sl and slipped away quietly without saying goodbye. I can't remember when you weren't there. I swear, we have been through everything there is. I can't remember anything that two of us have missed. Through the years, I never had a doubt. You turned my life around. I have learned that love is by loving you. What love is by loving you. And through the years, when everything went wrong, I have never been afraid. For down on your knees, you tirelessly fought for us, died to yourself on a daily just to see us happy. You were so selfless when it came to that which concerned us, your children. You were truly spectacular, Mama. I have lost my mother, my mentor, my moral compass, but most of all, I have lost my best friend. No one comes close to mama. Mine, mine is agony and pain of knowing that you're no more, but this is not goodbye. Wherever you are, you will always be in my heart. For what we have once for what we have once enjoyed deeply becomes part of our part of us for eternity. I loved you in life and we love you so much more even in death. Await us, we are coming. Thank you. 
tumpike makofi thank you very much for doing it very well and then this time jeff gain you are the strength of the family where are you man be strong and college everyone in the family good afternoon afternoon to you my name is jeff isika and i will read my tribute some day, some days there are not words to sh to share the love and heart i feel some days there is nothing to write to make the pain less real i miss you more than words can say i miss you more than poems can express you never said goodbye mom you never said i'm leaving you are gone before i knew it and only god knew why it broke our hearts to to lose you but you did not you did not go alone for part of our hearts went with you the day god called you home <laughs> the only comfort i have is knowing you are in a better place still praying for us you left us peaceful memories your love is still our guide and even though we cannot see you you are always at our side we will continue living with the strong ethics you taught us and in unity as you always wanted you you are mom to many and had the biggest heart i ever knew no one is ever going to replace you in our hearts and in the society i pray that god will give me strength to somehow get through as i struggle with this heart king goodbye mom thank you sir tom pige makofi thank you very much thank you very much and now we are getting now to the grad children tribute so the one who is doing it for the grad children welcome it's your time good afternoon good afternoon to you i'm jason and i'm going to read on behalf of the grandchildren dear shows we can't believe that you are, you are truly gone we still can't believe that we we won't have the sweet stories and your daily night prayers now that you have gone shine your way shine on your way to heaven rest in peace shows we love you thank you thank you very much can we clap for him thank you thank you let us when we hear when we say clap please do let us encourage him. then we have alvin alvin i have never re uh, praise god amen praise god again amen i have never written a tribute before but i never thought my first will be to you shosh i still can't accept the fact that i will never see you again i cannot say that i'm not sad but i have to accept and let you go you dedicated me unto christ now that now you have gone to your savior you are a strong fighter and always defended us from evil but now we have to accept that you have gone to a better place now that i uh, now that i say now as i say my last words to you i would like you to know that you will forever be in my heart and i was so lucky to have been part of your life i say thank you and you will forever be in my heart goodbye shosh thank you very much to mpige makofi mpige makofi jamani
and I'll pick you my coffee tafadhali thank you thank you very much we have sister in love sister in love my sister in law my friend my confidant the best gift that god blessed me since i became part of this Mwangi family 20 years ago. We still had a lot of things to do together by sister. I wish I could, I wish I could call you just to talk to you, my sister, to love with you. You are my shoulder to cry on, sister, my advisor, my best friend, you are still and will, you will remain my sister in love. Not how days go by that my husband, Data, and I don't think of you and expect you to come and see our family. All we get that phone call that you used to get almost every day from you, my sister. I miss you more each day, and I love you now and forever. It is hard. It is hard for me to write, rest in peace, my sister. But Safiri Sarama, I know up there where you are, you know we truly loved you. Let's well. You know, we had so many unfinished business with you. So uh, many unfinished plans. You used to pray for us. Now who will be praying for us, my sister? Lala Sarama. And be our guardian angel. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Don't pick my coffee. And Kali Jiha. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And now, I think this is the uh, the last uh, tribute, and the one who are doing it, this is from uh, Tata Beda's family. When I came to know this uh, Mwangi's family, I came also to know this uh, family. Yeah, Tata Beda. Thank you very much. Bona sifiwe. Amen. Majina ni Margaret Ukiaria, watata betha. Uh, I'm going to read a tribute on behalf of all the cousins to Wanja. And here it goes. Although Jane might suit many different des descriptions, she might suit many different descriptors, her capacity to emotionally connect with everyone, her caring attitude, and her loving personality stood out. To Aunt Bether, Jane was a peacemaker, a trustworthy emotional pillar, and an inspiration to us. As a cousin to Jao, Nyoike, Koraja, Joroge, Kierie, Buru, Juguna, and corresponding sisters. We have found childhood memories of a cousin. One could approach for anything and get assistance, accompanied by a natural smile. God took Jane from us. Far too early, and yet she had so much more to give. Rest in peace, our sister. Thank you. Thank you very much. Tumpiki makofi na yeye, asante sana. Bwana awabariki na watene mema. Ni meambiwa vile vile kanisa pia lina tribute yake na anaye soma tribute ya kanisa tafadhali. Karibu. Karibu. Thank you very much. Welcome our sister. Amen.
naona hata ukisimama hapa ametulenga na machini itakuwa bado ni sawa Praise God. Amen. Naitwa Mama Sara. Mwenye amelala hapa ni Bishop wangu. Ndasoma tribute ya kanisa na Holy Spirit of Prophecy. Mahali tunashiriki. Tribute to our apostle, our leader, mentor and spiritual mother. We cannot even imagine or start to ponder where to start from. You kept encouraging us, each one of us, to rise up and take up their ministries more seriously. Retro, did we know what the Holy Spirit was preparing us for? For sure, as you loved the song, Nita Ingia Lanko Lake. So, are we convicted that you entered those golden gates with praise? Our prayer world here, we know that you will intervene for us. This time, directly to God. We pray that God gives us guidance. We need to move forward as a church. Your shoes are too big to fill, Mama. But we pray for great anointing to be able to carry forward our ministry. We shall stand firm in the Lord and we shall take up the mantle as we honor your mom. May you continue dancing with the angels until we meet again. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you very much. Chutumpige makofi na yeye kwa sababu ya kuwakilisha kanisa vizuri. Basi napenda ni mshukuru Mungu sana. Ni kwa sababu ya mahali pale ambapo tumefika. Pasta Erija simama nimeambiwa ya kwamba una kitu ambacho unataka kukisema na kwa kweli muda umekimbia lakini kama ilikuwa ni tribute kitu ina move na hiyo spirit karibu ukiseme kwa kifupi sana you can see the time has really moved amen ah bwana Yesu asifiwe ah, kwa majina inaitwa pastor Elijah nimeokoka Yesu ni bwana ah, kwa kika have uh, served with mom kwa kanisa lake pale Hautaring na pia tumetumika na yeye pale um, mchua pipeline and what I can say about uh, Apostle Jane she's a loving mom she has a heart praise the name of the Lord she has a heart, a big heart that can accommodate everyone irrespective of who he or she is. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Ah uh, tumepoteza shujaa. Na kitu moja tu ambayo ni ya muhimu ni ya kwamba she has fought her battle well. We are in the race. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. How are we going to finish our race? Lay aside every weight, every weight that will cost not to run this race well. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Tusafishe mioyo yetu wapendwa. Kila dhambi tuzingao upesi tuweke kando. Ili hata sisi siku moja watu washuhudie na waseme kweli huyu amemaliza vizuri. Kama vile tunasema siku ya leo ya kwamba our dear apostle amemalizia vizuri. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. My deep condolences, condolences to the family and to the friends that are her morning today. Go baji aba watatuelekeza kutoka hapa mpaka tumalize kazi ambayo imebakia. Kwa hivyo naomba tusimame. Na mimi natamani nitamantishe kwa kusema maneno haya kama mchungaji. Tarehe sita December 2021 nikampoteza mama mama yangu mzazi sababu yangu ya kusema maneno hayo ni jinsi ambavyo tumeona uchungu na mimi nikawa na uchungu kama ule ambao sasa kila mmoja wenu ambaye amefiwa na mchungaji uchungu alionao 
na katika uchungu wangu nilipokuwa nikiwelekeza kwa Mungu nikapata maneno haya na ndio ninapenda nikwambie hivi ndivyo nilivyosikia Mungu akiniambia eti uchungu wa kifo ni sauti ya Mungu inayenena sikia mpendwa kwa hivyo kwa mfano ni, ni mtumie ndugu yetu isi, i, isaka isika bwana wetu atukuze sana uchungu ambao tumeuona kila mmoja ambaye anene, anajaribu kunena ndugu yetu ndeta uchungu huo unaousikia ikiwa ni sauti iliyo ya juu sana ikimnenea mwanadamu nayo ile sauti eti inasema nini sikia mpendwa hiyo sauti mwangi eti inasema hivi kitu kikubwa cha kukiogopa ni the judgment of god and all of us we are on the way to the judgment throne of god kifo sio mwisho na kifo kilishindwa na Yesu nimewasikiza watoto katika maneno yanu ambao mumeongea kwa ajili ya mama yenu the best gift hata wa, hata wa, wajukuu na wote ndugu na dada the greatest gift that you can ever give to your departed family member it is that what she loved most preaching jesus and the kingdom of god because kupitia hiyo peke yake yes bas wewe utaishida hukumu ya mungu hukumu ipo inakuja na itakuwa na shida kubwa kuliko shida ya kifo mshungaji karibu askofu anayetuelekeza nisalimie na mkono hapa hakuna hatutapata corona na asaidiwe na microphone Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Bwana Yesu apewe sifa. Tukaweza kusalimiana hewani. Mwadhani ya Yeshua hata we Yesu. Haleluya. Tutaingia katika kipindi kingine kuingia katika ibada yetu ya siku ya leo. Bwana asifiwe. <coughs> Na ninajua kila mmoja wetu, kila mmoja mahali hapa ameguzwa. Lakini wapendwa, tutaenda mbele za Bwana na najua tutabarikiwa. Haleluya. Huzuni imo ipo lakini katika mambo yote tunajua ya kwamba hapa duniani tunaondoka na sisi ni wapita njia bwana asifiwe haleluya kwa hivyo tutaanza ibada yetu kwa maombi na najua tunaenda kubarikiwa wachani tukaweze kuomba Baba katika jina lako takatifu Jehovah Bwana tunakushukuru baba tunalinua jina lako tunasema ni asante Mungu wetu asante kwa wakati huu Jehovah Bwana asante kwa kuwafariji watu wako Jehovah ni asante kwa familia baba wa majeshi asante kwa watoto Jehovah baba tunasema ni asante Mungu wetu wewe ndiye wakupanguza machozi Jehovah Bwana hatutawaza baba lakini baba ukiwanda yetu Jehova yote inawezekana tunakushukuru baba na tunakuinua tuendapo kuanza ibada hii ya siku ya leo ninaomba ukawaze kutuongoza naomba ukawaze kuingililia kati baba yangu kawaze kutubariki Jehova ukawaze baba kututia roho yako Jehova bwana uongozwe roho mtakatifu Jehova bwana baba tunasema ni asante asante Mungu wetu asante Jehova bwana tunakaribisha wapo wako mahali hapa Jehova Bwana wa majeshi oh baba ukajihidhirisha Jehova Bwana asante Mungu wetu ni asante Jehova Bwana tunavunja kila mila zote za mwovu shetani maroho zote za ageni mfano wa ajabu katika jina lako takatifu baba tunasema ni asante hakuna kama wewe Jehova Bwana uinuliwe Bwana na upewe sifa na ni katika jina lako takatifu tuna Mama na kuamini na tuseme amen. amen. Tupigie Yesu wetu makofi. Tupigie Yesu wetu makofi mazuri. Haleluya. Makofi makofi kwa Yesu. Haleluya. Bwana Yesu apewe sifa. Haleluya. Ningeomba kanisa eh, kanisa la holiness. Ilikuwa 
a spirit of prophecy Hallelujah. Bwana Yesu apewe sifa waanze kuja hapa kwa sababu tunaenda kuinua jina la Bwana katika nyimbo za kuabudu na ninajua mama yetu alipenda kumwabudu Bwana. Bwana asifiwe. Hallelujah. Uh, Bishop Fivi naweza karibia mahali hapa. Bwana asifiwe sana Apostle Elunga tukaanze kumwabudu Bwana. Tulikuwa na kikundi cha wachungaji na tulikuwa pamoja na Apostle Jenny Sika. Bwana asifiwe. Huyu mama alikuwa anamwabudu Bwana anaenda bikundi. Mwana ni agoshuo. Hallelujah. Haya mambo yote ya neno hapa ni ukweli. Bwana asifiwe sana. Yani alikuwa mama wa kuabudu. Alitaka kila mtu mtu aokoke. Alikaa kama mama yangu, alikaa kama dada yangu, mwana ni agoshuo. Tena alikuwa mama mkarimu sana. Niliogopa pia kupitia kwake. Ukienda lazima ukunywe kikombe cha chai. Hallelujah. Bwana Yesu apewa sifa. Hata nikiongea sitamaliza. Maana sijui alikuwa aje. Haleluya. Huyu mama alipenda kusifu na nataka siku ya leo wapendwa tukaanza kusifu Bwana asifiwe. Tukaenda mbele za Bwana kwa kumwabudu. Haleluya. Maana tunajua mama yetu hajapotea. Mama yetu yako pamoja na baba. Amefanya Bwana yake akajua Bwana. Haleluya. Maandiko inasema wa mama wanajenga nyumba zao na mikono yao. Amejenga nyumba yake. Ametuachia Pastor Lilian. Haleluya. Bwana Yesu apewa sifa. Na Pastor Arudi nyuma. Pastor Lilian, Bwana asifiwe. Hiyo hiyo ni jambo la kujivunia. Amefanya dhuhu zake wakajua Mungu. Bwana asifiwe. Haleluya. Kwa hivyo tunamuinua Bwana. Tukimwambia Bwana ni asante. Haleluya. Ni wewe ni wewe bwana ni wewe ni wewe bwana ni wewe bwana ni wewe ni wewe bwana ni wewe ni wewe bwana ni wewe ni wewe bwana
ni wewe ba hadi wewe tanyanyaka ya hadi wewe ni wewe bwana ni wewe hadi wewe ni wewe jira hadi wewe ni wewe bwana Hallelujah, Jehovah, Rima, Mayanda, Rabazika. 
Hori mashi kariando robo yanda Baba tunasema ni asante Tunasema ni asante Hallelujah Jehovah Bwana Tunasema ni asante Jehovah Bwana Wendo lewa Bwana na upawa sifa Jehovah Risi glory and honor Jehovah mighty Oh my father Jehovah rimaya na robo zika Oh roko tariando robo yanda Oh roko tariando robo zika Oh roko tariando robo yanda Oh roko tariando robo zika Oh roko tariando robo yanda Hallelujah Jehovah Bwana Hallelujah Jehovah Rima Thank you Jesus Toa sema asante Toa sema asante Toa sema asante Hewe mungu Toa sema asante Toa sema asante Toa sema asante Asante Hewe mungu Siwe zibila wewe buwan Siwe zibila wewe buwan Siwe zibila wewe buwan Hewe mungu Poke ya sifa zetu buwan Poke ya sifa zetu buwan Poke ya sifa zetu buwan Hewe mungu Baba katika jina lako utakatifu Jehovah Bwana. Tunakushukuru baba tunalinua jina lako. Tunasema ni asante Jehovah Bwana. Ni asante Jehovah Bwana. Asante kwa miaka ulipatia aposto. Ni asante Jehovah Bwana. Kuna wengi waruzaliwa pamoja na yeye. Wakaaga dunia mapema. Lakini baba wa majeshi wametupatia mpaka siku ya leo. Receive all the glory and honor My Father Jehovah God We thank you magnify your holy name Oh my Father Jehovah God Ni asante Jehovah Bwana Ni asante mfalme wa ajabu Na tuendapa kuendelea Jehovah Na mweka pia skofu mikono ni mwako Anapendesha ibada yu ingine Na bababa wa majeshi Ukambu wa ndae Oh baba Jehovah Ni asante Jehovah Tuendapa kuingia katika sifa baba Na barreo wako baba Eka tuwele kaze Jehovah Ni asante kwa watumishi wako Ni asante kwa familia Na kila moja mahali yapa Poke ya sifa Jehovah buwana Na ni katika jina lako takatifu Tunamba na kuwamini Na tuseme amen Kama uko na mikono miwiri pigia Yesu makofi Ukiona mtu wapigi makofi amebeba gevito Aena gevito mtu shotara horahe Akona hirizi buwana asifiwe Kwa hivyo tutapigia buwana makofi tukichezea buwana Hallelujah Kama utajari kihirizi kuwaguka Hallelujah Wadere kufurahia buwana Naomba tukawaza kusimama sisi wote Tukaingia katika sifa njibombili hivi Hallelujah Na ninajua tutabarikiwa Kwa mana kama mama yetu walipenda kusifu Na we ni witness Buwana asifiwe Hallelujah Kwa nini tusiweza kusifu kwa furaha Kanisa Hallelujah Buwana yesu wape Sifa, naomba umoja Anaweza ungoza sifa Hallelujah, posto my friend Weruga Amen Amen, Hallelujah, mtuwa mungu waseme Amen Ambia jirani yako zoza topigia makofi yetu bele zabwana kwa jina la yesu. Tunapo sifu katika jina la yesu. Weka mikono yako. Ainuliwe bwana wa mabwana. Ainuliwe ya metenda mema. Bwana wa mabwana. Inuliwe. Bwana ainuliwe Bwana wa mabwana Ainuliwe Ametenda mema Bwana wa mabwana Weka mikono yako kidogo hivi 
mother. Sifagida kodo kuti kuega. Sima para tunene kia ni mahala pazuri. Banesu apewa sifa. Uriza uchu. Hatuja. Kama hatuja ombea sadaka. Bwana asifuye sana. Nataka tusikie neno la bwana. Kutoka kwa wabishop ferista. Bwana asifiwe. Na ninajua tunenda kujia da kwa sababu ya neno. Dada yetu, mama yetu, anti yetu, ameenda. Lakini wale tuko tunenda kusikia neno la bwana. Ili tukaandaliwe, tukifika siku kama hii ya leo, wapendwa, utajua mahali unaenda. Bwana asifiwe. Mimi ambao ninawaongoza ni na ito Bishop Margaret, na hubili na kanisa la penye mila kusenta pale kayole Jackson, na mungu mahala pale anatenda kazi. Bwana yesu wapewa sifa. Nataka tukoweze kusimama, ili tukoweze kuomba kwa ajili ya neno la bwana. Hallelujah. Bwana yesu wapewa sifa. Hallelujah. Nitaka, nitamuita Apostol Erunga, kaweze kuomba kwa ajili ya mtumishi wa mungu. Karibu sana Apostol, kaweze ze kuomba kwa ajili ya neno la Bwana. 
naomba tafadhali sababu ya neno la Mungu haswa ni kwa sababu ya wale ambao ni wa wenye mwili huu kwa hivyo ninaomba mahali popote pale mulipo maana naona hampo hapa baba pamoja na vijana naomba tafadhali mkaribie hapa neno la Mungu linaloenda kuashiriwa ni kwa ajili yenu hamwezi mkakaa mbali wakati tunapoendelea kwa hivyo yeyote aliye wandani sana ambaye ameguswa na kifo sa mama tafadhali hudio muda wenu hudio wakati wenu shughuli zingine zote ziwekwe kando muje mkae muda huu ndio wenu Amen. Kwa hivyo ninapenda kuchukua hiyo nafasi kusema ya kwamba tukaweza kusimama juu sote tafadhali mama na waombeni kwa jina la Yesu. Ninawaombeni kwa unyenyekevu mama. Ninajua mmechoka uh, wazee, vijana najua ya kwamba mmechoka lakini ninaomba ya kwamba tukaweze kusimama. Kwa hiyo hiyo wakati nataka niimbe stanza moja tunapokaribisha wale ambao ni wenye mji wa songee karibu ili ya kwamba tukamlete mnenaji wa Bwana akaweze kutunenea. Chaiku tumaini sina. See Manji yangu iwe ndefu yeye Ye mawimbi nguvu zake ndizo kweli kwake Yesu nasimama Baba Ndiye mtakatifu Mungu wa mbinguni Bwana wa majeshi Mungu wa utukufu umechukuka toka pembe nne zote za ulimwengu Bwana umeinuliwa mabondeni umeinuliwa milimani shujaa wa imani shujaa wa kulea shujaa wa mambo mengi ningetamani tusimame kwa dakika moja tafadhali in silence kwa dakika moja tu hata kama unasikia usikii this chance ama this great moment it's just to say she was a hero kwa dakika moja tu na kwa hiyo dakika in silence mshukuru Mungu tu ndani ya moyo wako aliyekufanya ujuane na aposto Thank you very much. You can get seated. And also, kwa dakika moja pia nataka watoto wake waweze kusimama. Kwa dakika moja, DJ uwawekee wimbo. Watoto wa Apostle waweze kusimama. That's their request. It's very good to honor the request. Junior tafadhali. And then DJ tafadhali. Time to help a stranger in the rain There's a place for people like you If you stand up for those down on their knees And lend a voice to those who cannot speak 
If you shine a little light, give sight to the ones who've lost their way. There's a place for people like you. I've heard up there the streets are made of gold. And when you get there, there's a hand to hold. When your day's down here or through There's a place up there for people like you If you walk around with your heart on your sleeve And if you're trying to be the change you want to see If you lay down your life for a so someone could be saved There's a place For people like you I've heard up there the streets are made of gold And when you get there There's a hand to hold I believe When your day's down here there's a place out there for people like you. appreciate them tafadhali to appreciate si wapigia tu makofi sandeni sana uh, i'm bishop felicitas musembi and i thank god because of this day na pia niko na mume wangu ningependa asimame kwa sababu ni vizuri kumtambulisha asimame ndatika moja asalimiane ndatika hiyo tu moja alafu yaweze kuketi Uh, ambayo tumekaa naye zaidi ya miaka 26 na, na limua akiwa kama kadogo tu lakini sasa ako sawa bwana asiye sana we serve the same we serve together in the same church she is the bishop i am the i'm the pastor na tukifika nyumbani mimi ndio nini mambo ya kanisani ya kanisani mambo ya nyumbani nini and uh, I, I, there is no, no harm with, with that bwana asiye sana Bwana asiye sana. Kwa hiyo wazee tuachilie wa mama wafanye kasi ya Bwana na ukifika nyumbani sasa we kuwa juu na kiwezekana amsaidie um, sana katika huduma. Tuko na watoto watatu. The last born hako miaka 21. Na Yesu ni Bwana. Nimemlete ili tukuje kupumzisha uh, dada yetu ambaye pia tumejua tumemjua like 25 good years. Nilipo mwa ni kamutua ushagu ni kampereka Nairobi uh, Walijuana na mama huyu kama mtu wa kwanza Bwana asiwe sana God bless you Amen Na mesawa kusema tuko na mchugu Hallelujah 
Ha? Bwana asifiwe. Kwa hivyo wasisi si wa uh, si wachanga vile. Uh, I want to thank God and be, before I give the word of God, also I have a testimony about Apostle Jane. Uh, over 20 years ago, when I was married, as she has said, uh, the first person I met when I was very young, young girl, nikiwa Ivo tu, ni yeye tulikutana, na tulikutana kwa sababu ya uduma, na tulipo kutana kwangu sio tu rafiki, kwangu sio munduma pamoja nami, kwangu ni mzazi wangu, kwa njia moja ama nyingine, buwana asifiwe. Kwa sababu ngani, wakati nilipata mtoto wangu wa kwanza, huyo mtoto wangu wa kwanza ambao kwa around 26, 27 years, yeye ambaye alinioshea, hallelujah, Mtoto wangu wa pili ni yeye alinioshea. Amen. Mtoto wangu wa tatu ni yeye alinioshea. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Na kuendelea hata nilipopata mchukuu. Amen. Kwa sababu ya kufanya ni nijue kuosha kabisa. Hali andamana alita pastor Tabitha wakakuja pia na wakaosha mchukuu. Situpigie Yesu makofi. Amen. Amen. Hivyo ndivyo Nimemujua aposto. Kwa hivyo kwangu, the Lord, it's appointed time for a man to die once. Then after this death, kuna kuamukia ukumu. Hallelujah. Na ninaanza na ujumbe wangu. Je, wewe utakapo kufa? Wewe utakapo ondoka nduniani? Utakumbukwa na nini? Wewe umekuja kuomboleza. Wewe umekuja kufurahia. Kuona ushindi wa shujaa. Je, mimi nikiondoka tumesikia ushuda mwingi. Ni kweli kwa aposto unga kosa kukunywe chai. Mimi nitamkumbuka kwa mambo mengi sana ambao siyezi ni kaya hesabu. Lakini swali ni, mimi nitakapo lala. Wewe utakapo lala, utakumbukiwa nini? Hallelujah. Katika kitabu cha Acts of the Apostles, chapter 9 verse 36, inasema hivi, at Joppa, there was a certain disciple na, uh, named Tabitha, which is translated Dorcas. This woman was full of good works and charitable deeds, which she did. Praise the name of the Lord. Ukiandalea na, kusem, na kusoma, kwa sababu najua, tunajua na kwa wakati, inasema kana ya kwamba, katika inji ya Joppa, kulikuwa kona mwanamke mmoja, halifanya kazi nzuri, alitumika sana. Then ukiandalea kusoma utaona, one time, one day, this lady, she died. Na wakati alikufa, kazi yake, kama vile tunashudia kazi ya aposto, ili musaidia sana, hallelujah. Wakati ule, Yesu Kristo ameenda, wanafunzi wake wako, lakini kwa sababu, alisaidia, alisimama na kazi ya mungu sana, alitengenezea wajane mafasi, alifanya kazi ya mbazo, singe kumbukwa, walipo jua, walipo elewa, walipo sikia amekufa, kilio kingi kilipatikana pale, buwana sifiwe, hallelujah. Na kilipo patikana, waka muendea, waka tumanisha pita. Pita alipo ambiwa, halipo teremuka, akaona uchungu, uchungu wa wale wajane. Hallelujah. Na alipo na ule uchungu, akafufua hule mwanamke. Hallelujah. Halikumbukiwa mazuri, halikumbukiwa mambaya. Tafadhali, nataka tuende pamoja. Halikumbukiwa mazuri, halikumbukiwa mambaya. Mazuri, bwana asifiwe. Ile kasi ya lio ifanya. Akati ambao wameondoka duniani. Kukawa na watu. Na wakamulilia sana. Je, swali ya ujumbe wangu. Wewe utakumbukiwa nini? Utakumbukangwa na uchawi. Utakumbukangwa na masengenyo. Utakumbukwa na vita. Ama utakumbukwa na injili. Ama utakumbukwa na kasingani duniani. Hallelujah. Na ujue ile kasi utakumbukwa nayo. Hiyo kasi itakuongoza. Kumbuka katika kitabu cha Job. Kumi na ine mstali wa kwanza. Biblia inasema na nevizuri uelewa kana ya kwamba. Kama vile nimesema Hebrew 7, uh, 927. Also, who is born of what? Woman. Hallelujah. Mutu yeyote ambao mezaliwa na mwanamuke lazima atafanya nini? Atakufa. 
na utakapokufa utakumbukwa na nini katika kitabu cha Titus chapter 3 verse 8 inasema kwa ajili ya kazi zetu pia kwa hivyo mpendo ulio mahali hapa ni vizuri ulikuja lakini swali ni wewe utakapokufa na not only death hata katika kijiji hata kule unakoishi tumechanganyikana hapa kuna watu wametoka Mombasa kuna watu wametoka Nairobi kuna watu wametoka Mtito mahali hapa na kuna watu wametoka hata Katanga nimesikia mpaka nanyuki na, na all over the world and i believe even some of us are watching us from abroad but the greatest question is wewe mahali ulipo ukitoka kwa sababu hata si lazima ukufe kwa sababu unazungumzia watu walio hai mahali ambapo unaishi siku ya leo ukiondoka kuna watu wanakukumbukanga kuna watu wanaweza sema na nikisikia nita, nitaenda na nikisikia nitasimama na fulani bwana asifiwe praise the name of the lord utakumbukwa na nini Dokas ambao ni Tabitha alikumbukwa kwa kazi yake mzuri siku ya leo tuna celebrate life of apostle ampaye kama vile eh, mzee wake amesema apostle alikuwa mtu ambaye hataki kukwaza anybody praise the name of the lord hivyo tu na hata ukimkwaza hatakufuata yeye mwenyewe amen ai simupigie yesu makofi basi Haleluya. Ati ukimkwasa unafanya nini? Ukidhania ni wewe utaenda ama umefanya nani wewe umemkosea? She was the one to come to you. Na hata atakutafuta sana kwa simu na kukutumania. Na si ati umemkosea sana Bwana asifiwe. Yaani alikuwa na huo moyo. Na ninashukuru Mungu ni kwa sababu huo moyo ndio moyo umempeleka mbinguni. Amen. Amen. Kuna mmoja alishuhudia akasema ana ngaja zamali ambapo uh, mtumishi wa Mungu ameenda. Praise the name of the Lord. Now the way she served God with all her heart. Hata katika ugonjwa wake, nimetazama katika hizi uh, picha zimewekwa, nikaona mmoja ambao ninajua vizuri sana hakuwa anasikia vizuri, lakini ninamuona kwa madhabahu akiwaambia nani? Simuangalie kwa kwa kwa, kwa picha haya. Kwa sahi kwa sahi nywe madhangu. Eh eh, watu wachukue waangalie ndio niwaambie vizuri waelewe. Kwa sababu unajua saa nyingine watu waangalie. Imagine nasema hivyo na naona mtu ananiangalia tu. Hata kama mimi ni mama si uchukusi. Hata wa mama tunahumbiri injiri. Nebwa moyo. Newa moyo ngidai dangai weda yo newa moyo ngidai dangai nese newa moyo ngidai dangai weda yo haleluya kwitu emboni ni mwitu mumutei unapoangalia pale hiyo imepita haleluya eh yenye ni musi by the way ni musi na umo itu iku kwamba mwao ndiye sika na yumo mese ya mutei haleluya wale hawakusikia hiyo unajua hata Kenya iko na uh, two national languages but we have others number three national language ni gani simu tuache kukaa kama tuko kwa masishi no tu mie kuko tutenga ine tuko kwa Mungu sasa haleluya we have Kiswahili we have English what about the third one Ai. Tuongea tu ukweli. Usijifanye ongea ukweli. <laughs> eh, tuko na lugha za mama si ni 42 ama 45. Lakini which is the third one? Ile yangu. Uongo hiyo hapana. Ile ya tatu imeimbwa hapa. Mmeisikia? Na itabidi uijue kama uijui. Haleluya. Mimi ni mkamba lakini wewe sinisengenya na kikuyu. Hatukianza kuimba hata naumbiri ukikuyuni. Hey Amen. Now they are my best and my closest friends and they are good. Hey Amen. Siyakuja kuwatangazia lakini hao watu ni wazuri ukweli. Ukishikana na wao vizuri. Hey Amen. Hey Amen. Lakini nawe ukiwashika vimbaya. 
<laughs> Utaongeanga ukijisalimia. Amen. Haya. Mimi nimeolewa na mkamba, nimesaliwa na mkamba na nimeolewa nitwai nitwai to kwa aombe na nimumutei na ndaba nasi ya kikuyu na nasi ati ukalilikani ula chao hata ukikosa kunikumbuka kwa ingine najua hiyo utanikumbukia amen amen unapoangalia apostle kuna san anamuombea pale na wakati huo anamuombea ni mgonjwa ninataka ninaposema hivyo ninaleta nini ninaleta kile ambacho ata, kwa sababu alipenda kasi ya Mungu with all a heart na akufikiria mwili wake hata wakati mwingine halipokuwa anashughulikia jamii lakini jamii ya Kikristo ilikuwa juu sana bwana asifiwe na hata wewe mchana mche, wa leo kwa sababu tuko hapa kwa ibada yake ningeomba na niombi la moyo wangu uwe na swali hili ndani ya moyo wako praise the name of the lord jambo la pili ambalo naenda kusungumzia kwa sababu nataka kwenda kwa haraka ni kazi yako na kazi yangu itanifuata kazi ya mtumishi wa Mungu imemfuata praise the name of the lord as we read in the book of revelation chapter 14 verse 13 biblia inasema hivi then I heard a voice from heaven saying to me, Right, breast are the dead who die in the Lord from now on. Yes, say the Spirit, that they may rest from their labor and their works. Follow them. Amen. Amen. My second point. Kasi yako itakufuata. Kasi yako itakufuata kwa njia ngani. Biblia imesema, Blessed. Ha who? Who are blessed? The one who won't die in the Lord. So what does this mean? Who is blessed here? Sasa pastor pastor si sandi wake atu ndio ana anajibu. Si mumu ai. Kana nikisungumu tanengwa. Ni kiingereza hatujasikia. Tusomewa na Kiswahili. Amen. Biblia imesema wamembarikiwa wale ufa ndani ya nani ya Yesu Kristo na kuanzia sasa hivi kasi zao zinawafuata kwa hivyo kasi ya mtumishi wa Mungu inamfuata swali la kwanza utakumbukiwa nini jambo la pili ujue kazi yako itakufuata ni vizuri na ni vizuri uelewe chochote unachofanya hapa duniani kitakufuata whether you like it or not itakufuata bwana asifiwe praise the name of the lord kuna watu na ni vizuri kusema hii kuna watu hampao kasi yao ni ofyo sana ni ya kusiaisi ya kuminandu na utia siunya ni oani na oi na maika ni ya maundu on the ala madhuku praise the name of the lord kuna watu wataki wangini kuona wakiendelea kuna watu wakikuona hivi hakiona nyumba kama hii ya isika anauliza nita mumaliza aje nimekuja kukuambia wawe ambao umali sana kasi yako itakufuata na itakuelekeza jionamu ya moto wana sifiwe praise the name of the lord kulikuwako na mama mmoja halikuwako mwanda wazimu praise the name of the lord na kulikuwako na mama mwingine na hakuwa mwanda wazimu na halikuwa na watoto watatu Na alipokuwa na wale watoto watatu hakawa ana kizazi anashindwa huyu mwenda wazimu ni nini ananiulizanga mwenda wazimu alikuwa na roho safi sana every early morning angepita kwake akikimbia akipita anamwambia weka nesa no uwe wayika weka nesdi no uwe wayika ukitanda mazuri umejifanyia ukitanda mahofu umejifanyia so continuously and time by time hule mama akasikia huyu mwenda wazimu nitamumalisia dos hata ujue wewe unamalisiana dosi unamalisiwa haleluya weka nai weka nesa kitanda mambaya ukitanda mazuri eh nataka hata nikiongea na kikamba unanijia kama kama vile naona huku kuna ukame wa maji so early morning hakaamsha watoto wake hakawaambia waende nini maji haleluya ule mwenda wazimu akapita watoto washaenda kwa mto ha weka nae no weka nesa 
na uweweka na ule mama akamwambia na ni kweli akawapea pani ya kitatu pap akapea mwenda wazimu haleluya weka naye weka nasa na mwenda wazimu akaenda kwa njia akakutana na wale watatu watatu pa pa akawaambia habari zenu he he akaona watoto children are very innocent hata ukipea mtoto mafi hata kula tu children are very innocent but you who are evil doer unakutana nayo amen panika ya kitatu ta 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 akasema weka naye weka nasa na akaishia haleluya halipoishia katoto kwa sababu tototo ni tototo kama kaika melangilia kwa kaamina kala kange kaiza ya mutongi ndena kahange ha na huwa na tumbo huwa na tumbo ah kangine hapo tuta tukaenda tukianguka anguka jirani mwingine akaona akapiga nduru kitambo wafike ka kwanza kalikuwa kamekufa kapili kalikuwa kamekufa wakaokota katatu wakimbishi hospitali haleluya in the process sikijiji kimesikia kila mtu amesikia kitambo wafike hospitali huyo mwingine apewe first aid wajulikane ni poison ni chakula Mwenda wasimu akatokezea mama anapiga duru. Akiuliza kwani mwenda wasimu kwa nenge asiana si kwa ila pani keki. Kwani mwenda wasimu kwa nenge asiana si kwa ila pani keki. Atajulikana atajulikana. Weka naye. Weka nesa. Kitambo afike hospitali walikuwa wawili walikuwa wapi? Mochali. Amen. Amen. Na hata haikuhitajika kuulizwa. Halipika nduru akiuliza kwani mwenda wazimu. Na si watu wana masikio. Watu hawana pressure kama yeye. Nimekuja kukuambia kazi yako itakufuata. Ukitenda mambaya itakufuata. Inaweza kosa kukufuata wewe, lakini itafuata kisazi chako. Sema haleluya. Unajua kuna watu warogi. Na mrogi uko hapa. Nisikie na unisikia vizuri. Siku yako yaja. Amen. Asi wakamba peke yao kwa hiyo ilo bi usiwe takusu anaenda tie Mombasa ju. Amen. Amen. And I want to tell you and tell you the truth. Kasi yako itakufuata. Mama akazika watoto wawili. Hule mmoja akakaa hospitali mpaka Mungu kwa neema yake akatoka. Amen. Utaroga mtoto wa mtu akienda university utafanya vituko hata wasiana wetu wasiolewe na hata wako watawataolewa mpaka wachukuu amen amen utafanya vijana wa watu kwa sababu wameendelea vizuri wasiendelee wewe utamngaa kama maua in the morning utaonekana uko sawa lakini kasi yako itafuata kisazi chako amen amen kwa hivyo elewa mchana wa leo kazi ya apostle imemfuata kazi yako itakufuata kazi yako itakufuata amen jambo langu lingine ambalo ni la uh, nataka kuzungumzia jambo langu la mwisho ni kana ya kwamba hata kama mambo hayo tuelewe kana ya kwamba Jesus is coming soon biblia inasema kana ya kwamba katika kitabu cha revelation chapter 22 verse 12 uh, and behold I am coming quickly and my reward is with me to give to everyone according to his works. Amen. Jesus is doing what? Is coming soon. Is coming soon. Kumulipa kila mtu kandili ya kazi yake. Kumbuka ujumbe wangu ni utakumbukiwa nini. Hallelujah. Bwana asifiwe. Yesu yuwaja upesi kulipa kila mtu kandili ya kasi yake. Ha, amen. Kwa hivyo ile kasi ambayo unaifanya ina malipo. Na wakati moja Petro hakilipokuwa anaongea na Yesu Kristo, akamuuliza, "Ni kwa sababu tumeacha mali yetu? Ni kwa sababu tumeacha kazi zetu na watu wetu? Hii ni nini? Tutapata faida gani?" Yesu Kristo akamwambia, "Jambo la kwanza ni uzima wa milele, jambo la pili kila kitu mutapewa a hundred folds, sixty folds and that folds. Praise the name of the Lord." Kwa hivyo hakuna kitu ambao hakuna kazi ya Mungu ambao ni bure. 
hakuna kitu ambacho hautalipwa kwa hivyo ujue chochote unachofanya hata uko upande wa Mungu hata upande wa ngiza kila kazi ina malipo yake na Biblia imetuambia naja upesi kulipa kila mtu kwa hivyo jambo la tatu elewa Jesus is coming soon na because Jesus is coming soon ni wakati ambao uweze kuwaza kuhusu maisha yako. Je, huyu Yesu ninamjua? Je, huyu Yesu ni mwokozi wa maisha yangu? Je, huyu Yesu nita, nitaenda pamoja naye? Ni kweli tumekuja tumeshuhudia. Tumejua aposto, mtumishi wa Mungu yako na Mungu. Je, wewe utaenda na Yesu Kristo. Na iwapo uko katikati yetu, na hakika ndani ya moyo wako, hauna assurance. Biblia inauliza tutaepukaji hukumu wa namna hii iwapo hatutamjua Yesu Kristo utaepuka jionamu ya moto kwa njia gani utaepukaji praise the name of the lord na for you and for me kuepuka jionamu ya moto ni kuamini kasi ya Yesu Kristo msalabani amen Yesu Kristo alikuja Biblia inasema for so God loved the world he is the one who loved you he is the one who loved the world he gave his only begotten son for whoever believes in him praise the name of the lord akamtoa mwana wake wa pekee yeyote atakaye muamini atapata uzima wa milele bwana asifiwe si wewe ungangane si wewe ufanye kazi hapana mungu mwenyewe amemtoa yesu kristo yesu kristo amefanya kazi ya wokofu pale msalabani mimi ambaye nilikuwa nisurubishwe wewe ambaye ulikuwa uangikwa msalabani yesu mungu akamtoa yesu akamwaga ndamu kwa ajili ya hile ningeji mwagia bwana asifiwe tunaona in the hot testament they used walimwaga ndamu ya kondoo ya mbuzi ya mbul na zote asikuweza kusaidia lakini Yesu akaangikwa msalabani akamwaga ndamu yake ikawa ya kutuosha ya kututakasa na kuwa wasafi kama yeye bwana asifiwe praise the name of the lord so es tunapoenda kufumuzisha mtumishi wa Mungu jua kana ya kwamba Yesu anakuja upesi. Jambo la pili jua kana ya kwamba utaepukaji utaepukaji jionamu ya moto ukin neglect this great salvation. Praise the name of the Lord. Na kwa sababu tumesikia ushuhuda tumesikia neno la Mungu. Ni vizuri uamue ndani ya moyo wako pia katika ibada ya aposto kujua ah kama huyu mtumishi ametembea na Mungu hivyo na tumesikia na tumeona na tumeambiwa hata mimi wacha niamue siku ya leo kwa maziko ya mtumishi wa Mungu hata mimi nimjue Yesu Kristo haso atakaporudi hata nitakapokufa niwa nitamuona uso kwa uso Bwana asifiwe. Praise the name of the Lord. Hatuna njia nyingine. Unajua kuna watu wanakufa na tunapoteana milele na milele. Amen. Kwe andu ma kuye mutaka koma na ingi. Amen. Amen. Kuna watu walikufa na hamuta kayo nana. Milele milele ya mina. So for you and for me. If we want to meet our apostle and our Lord Jesus Christ. We have to believe in Jesus. Amen. Amen. Tukiamini kasi ya Yesu Christo msalabani tutakapokufa kama Yesu Kristo atakawia tutaenda pamoja na yeye tutaishi tutafurahia amen bwana asifiwe katikati ya mkutano ninajua hatuwezi kuwa sisi zote tumeokoka lakini wapo upo na ujaamini kasi ya Yesu Kristo msalabani niombi la moyo wangu usitoke mahali hapa kama uja andikisha jina lako katika kitabu cha Mungu cha, ezi, cha, cha uzima amen amen Neno langu la mwisho ni kutia jamii nguvu katika Yesu Kristo. Ni kwa sababu Biblia inatuambia kana ya kwamba eh, in the book of uh, in the book of Romans chapter 14 verse 7 If I die I die for Christ. If I live I live for Christ because we are his. Praise the name of the Lord. So sisi kufa na kuishi tuko ndani ya Yesu Kristo na ni kwa ajili ya Yesu Kristo. Jambo hili si rahisi. Kama vile Reverend aliyekuwa anatuongoza alisema it's not easy. But kila ninge wa encourage mourners together with the family. Let's pray for this family. Ingawa saa zingine tunasemanga hivyo mtu akienda ameenda lakini nina waomba tuendelee kuombea jamii hii iweze kuwa strengthened in the lord amen ni mungu peke yake anaweza akafuta machozi miezi mbili imepita 
Nilipoteza ndugu yangu na nilimpoteza kwa njia ambayo ilikuwa ya uchungu sana 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 kwa sababu ngani he was not sick alikuwa anakashida tu ya macho kwenda hospitali wakasema siyo afanyiwe nini kaki kitu kadogo then akuamka amen amejipeleka tunangoja arudi ni simu tunaanza kupigiwa amen the same moment saa hiyo ninaambiwa saa, ninaambi saa moja. my brother ameenda saa kumi na mbili naenda airport niko na mgeni anaingia ilikuwa drama drama sio nini video amen lakini mungu alienipa neema na amepea wengi wetu hapa neema hata na iwapo wapendwa tusikuje na maneno kwa hii jamii ninawaomba wacha watosheleke na ile mungu atawaambia Wacha watosheleke na uchungu ambao wako nayo leo kwa sababu kuna watu huenda kuongezea watu uchungu zaidi. Amen. Unaenda na maneno yako this time give them ample time. Amen. For them to heal. Hii ni uchungu. Na najua watu wengi hapa wameacho wanajua. Amen. Kwa hivyo ombi langu jioni ya leo. Wale hawajamjua Yesu Kristo, mjue Yesu Kristo, patana na Yesu Kristo kuna uzima. Jambo la pili tuombe jamii. Amen. Amen. Naomba tuweze kusimama juu. Tafadhali tusimame juu. Baba katika jina lako Yesu Kristo tunakushukuru tunakuambudu tunakuinua. Sande ni kwa sababu ya wema na fadhili zako mfalme wa ajabu. Tunakushukuru kwa sababu umetukumbusha kana ya kwamba Jehova Mungu shie milele it's appointed time for a man to die once. Then after after death there is a judgment. Na ukatuambia kana ya kwamba kila ambaye amezaliwa na mwanamke ana kukufa bwana wa mbinguni na kushukuru ni kwa sababu bwana wa mbinguni baada ya kifo kuna kufuatwa na kazi ambayo tumefanya hapa duniani na kushukuru ni kwa sababu jioni ya leo kuna mtu ambaye amesikia sauti yako kuna mtu amesikia neno lako si bwana wa majeshi kupitia roho wako mtakatifu kasungumza na moyo wake kasungumza na moyo wake na ukamsungumzie kilindini cha moyo wake kuwa na kubandilika kupitia roho wako mtakatifu barikiwa uinuliwe utukuke asande Yesu Kristo asande mfalme wa ajabu katika jina safra Yesu Kristo tumeomba tukishukuru amen tukati chini kabla sijaombea jamii kwa sababu tutakuwa na ibada ya kuombea jamii ndiposa twende mahali pale pa kuweka aposto ah naomba kanisa la la aposto waweze kuinuka wakiongozwa na pastor Tabitha waweze kutuchukulia sandaka na kwa sababu ni vizuri tuwe tunaimba nataka tufungue katika hizi uh, program zetu kuna wimbo iko hapo ni salama ni salama ni salama ro, moyoni mwangu tuwe tunaimba uh, kanisa inapochukua sandaka pastor Tabitha tafadhali kanisa in... okay uh, tufungue wimbo katika oh, sorry wacha tupatie kanisa this time Waweze kuwa na wimbo tutaimba baadaye kanisa tunapo anapochukua sandaka Poleni tufungue tufungue wimbo. Ah, katika the last page kuna wimbo nionapo amani kama swali. 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 <laughs> Kiswahili. Naomba mtu mwingine aweze kuchukua hiyo mic. Programa ah, MC si uchukue hiyo tuimbe na wewe. <laughs> Asante. Asante, asante. Ah, nionapo amani. Tuanze pamoja tunapongojea. Ah, ah, box za kanisa wachukue sandaka. Na ni vizuri tusimame tunapomwimbia Bwana. 
Haleluya. Amani ona po shida. One to sing. Ni ona po amani. Amani ona po shida. Kwa mambo yote ameni julisha. Ni salama roho ni mwangu. Salama roho ni Ni salama roho ni mwangu Inga wa shetani ata ni tesa Ni tajipa moyo kwani Kristo ameona unyonge wangu Ame kufa kwa roho yangu Salama roho ni Ni salama roho ni mwangu Dambi zangu zote wana sinusu Simewe kwa msalabani Wala sichuku ilana yake Ni salama roho ni mwangu Salama roho ni Ni salama roho ni mwangu Ee bana imi sasi kuwa kuja Panda itaia polia Utaka poshuka sita ongopa Ni salama roho ni mwangu Salama roho ni Ni salama roho ni mwa Salama salama roho ni Ni salama roho ni mwa Salama salama roho ni Ni salama roho ni mwa Salama roho ni Ni salama roho ni mwangu Tunaweza tukaketi Tunaona na pendekesa skofu Hili tufanya kitu kialaka Tunaweza kuekewa Hata kama ni imesa hapa Ama leso moja Tulete sadaka zetu hapa Ya hatuna Tu, Hata kiti tunaeza weka tafadhali Ndiyo Amina Kabisa na mna hiyo Tuwete eh. kuleta sandaka zetu hapa Watu wa mungu Tafadhali tuleta sandaka zetu hapa Ya Na nikatumani sana Na kwa sababu tuko ukambani mama Ipo wimbo wa kikamba unao nifraicha sana mm. Kivevelo cha yesu Kivevelo cha yesu ni chukilitu Kivevelo cha yesu ni chukilitu Amen Manasa. Amen Bas, bas, tuinuke wote tuimbe wimbo huu tukileta sadaka zetu hapa mbele. Tuinuke wote katika jina la Yesu. Asante. Ndio hiyo. Tafadhali sana kazeni. Amen. Asante Amen. sana umetushungulikia. Asante. Ndio hiyo. Tulete kwa haraka sasa. Amina. Lete, lete hata usingoje, hata usingoje. Kivevelo cha Yesu ni chukilitwe. Kivevelo cha Yesu ni chukilitwe. Mwana sanduka kieje ove ongalila. Kuna satu ikaki Yehova ingali latu Kivevelo, kivevelo Chayesu ni chukilitwe Kivevelo, chayesu ni chukilitwe Hana satu ikaki Yehova ingali latu Hana satu ikaki Yehova ingali latu Kivevelo, kivevelo Chayesu ni chukilitwe 
ki babala chawa suni chukile tue hana satu ka kia jeva ingale la tue hana satu ka kia jeva ingale la tue ki babala ki babala chawa suni chukile tue Ke vevelo cha Yesu ni chukile tue mwana satu ikakie wa vengali la toe to ikakie je o vengali la toe uko na ingine akikamba bwana use mtu anze hapo nyuma Bwana use muyangu rafiki yangu wewe katika safari yangu tatembea na wewe pamoja na wewe pamoja na wewe katika safari yangu tatembea na wewe amen a- a- amen naomba tuweze kufika hapo okay uh, bishop uh, faith ni kama kuna mtu ameweka hapo pamoja na funguo yake please you can check in front of the congregation hallelujah oh haija haiko hapa kwa sandaka na unajua ingekuwa ni angari na ikuwa kwa sandaka angekuwa ametoa hiyo ngari hapa hallelujah <laughs> anyway ne. asanti naomba mtumishi wa Mungu aweze kuombea isi sandaka niposa tuweze kuita jamii Bwana asifiwe. Acha ni tuombe whatever you have given in Jesus name. We thank you Jehovah God for what your people have given. We thank you Jehovah God because you have given them freedom and really they have given freedom. We give glory to you Jehovah God because we know you have talked to each one of us to give. Now Lord Father, as they go, bless the work of thy hands. Give them whatever they need from you Lord. The minute they call you Lord Jehovah don't cross your ears that you do not hear them. Jehovah God give them according to the riches of glory in Christ Jesus. We thank you Lord Father, we give you glory. We thank you for the this that is given. We we give it, we give you glory. Honor and praise my God because it is in Jesus mighty name we pray and believe. Amen. Naomba jamii, jamii ya Mr. Isika iweze kukuja hapa. Uh, wachungaji wote waweze kuja hapa, tuweze kuomba na jamii. Na sisemi tu the nuclear family, ninajua kuna sisters and brothers wa Chen na pia wa brothers and sisters wa Isika, all relatives, the closest relatives. Tafadhali kujeni, tuweze kuomba pamoja nanyi. Tafadhali naomba close relatives waweze kukuja tuweze kuwaombea. Aya, nasikia uh, nina, ninajulishwa kuna watoto wa wako karibu. Kanisa ikuje iimbe wimbo moja tafadhali tukiitiwa watoto. Niitiwe watoto tafadhali wale wa Los relatives also kanisa inapoimba wimbo moja kanisa kanisa la aposto tafadhali na waomba muharakishe kwa sababu uh, kuna watu wataenda mbali na ni vizuri tuharakishe kanisa la kisheni tafadhali na wote mlioko kule nyuma tafadhali tunaenda kilele cha kazi iliyotuleta kwa hivyo tunawaomba fanyeni kuharakisha mje Si vizuri wakati askofu anapowatafuta mko mbali. Jamani. Karibuni huku.
Woigai wakwa Hallelujah, 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 and Zeni, and Zeni. Woiga iwa kwa Takinya igoro, koya goro ya kwa, eri da geri ya geri, gatora na gya, namo nokia, kuma tui kuma tui ne deri da geri deri da geri, o ti de kia. Oh, kala mai dori, oh ne borori muega, kaya kaya rekwa, oh namo ana, eu devo kodi, no, eu eu devo na kinya igoro. Kore agora ya kwa Akwa Nari amo e bara Dia daga idero Waga ko Watashaita Koma Koma Tuine Tiri da Giri ya Gaya Amen. 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 Amen.
Jamii tafadhali Amba wachungaji wote waweze Washungaji tafadhali jioni hapa na wote wa familia walioko hapa hatutagweje Wachungaji tuzunguke jamii tafadhali kwa behind the family please Alafu <laughs> nitaomba Bishop uh, Faith na Bishop Nancy waweze kuomba kwa ajili ya jamii. Bishop Faith, Bishop Nancy tafadhali waweze kuomba kwa ajili ya jamii. Guys, the other mic. Okay. Wachungaji tu tuwaelekeze neema ya Mungu. Baba katika jina la Yesu twakuinua na twakuheshimu. Tunasema ni asanti kwa wema wako Mungu wa rehema. Asanti kwa hii jamii Mungu wa rehema. Mwana waijua katika jina la Yesu. Rehema na neema ni zako Bwana wa majesi. Unaweza miminia ndani ya mioyo yao, ndani ya maisha yao Bwana, katika jina la Yesu. Tunaomba ya kuomba Bwana ukawalide. Ukawape amani Mungu wa rehema, wakubwa na wadogo. Na sana sana mume wake na watoto wake na wajukuu wake Bwana wa majeshi. Na wale wanaitwa niso naye. Bwana wa majeshi tuwakushukuru. Ukikaa pamoja nao, ukiwapigania Bwana wa majeshi. Bwana tuwakushukuru. Maana utawateganisha Bwana na maafu yote Bwana wa majeshi. Utawateganisha Bwana na kilio katika jina la Yesu. Maana wewe ndiye Bwana. Ukaa mahali Bwana mama yao mama yao alikuwa. Kwa sababu wewe ndiye Mungu mwema. Neema zako ni za maajabu. Asante Bwana wa majeshi. Kuwa pamoja nao. Kuwa pamoja nao walita waogoze wavute machozi bwana wa majesi wape nguvu mpya bwana wa majesi wanapoenda bwana wa majesi wakae wakishuhudia ya kwamba mama yake hakukufa bwana wa majesi bali ni wewe umempumuziza kwa sababu alikuwa sujaha nao bwana wa majeshi wakakubali kukaa kama mama yao ndani ya maisha yako Yesu Kristo tuakuinua na tuakushukuru nao bwana akatamani kukaa ndani ya maisha yako kwa sababu ya ni mungu mwema achiria mikononi mwako tukijua wewe ya kwamba wewe mwenye vita utawapigania na watakuwa na huru na amani katika jina la Yesu tunaomba na hata tunaamini amen Come down Jehovah Redeemer okatu mwadhani okatu jehova okatu netodo egai okatu gai wa odhigu oi mareria na ngora ya chaniki ya ramazika mareria tu gai areria umwe wa jeso oi mareria gai macherere gai oi rinae kiari dai jehova savior ma oh jehova Huri masi kiaradi karama soko fa karama zia hoi wale ya umwe wa ogai ne makogo chaletu ali aku ne tondo ni okomagiri ya maithori ne tondo ni okomasherera na jira ya mwanya mureithi mwega we are calling you jehovah god you have promised us that you never leave us nor forsake us oh lord and that's the promise we are giving to this family oh god my father because i know you are not a man that you change Neither you are man that you lie, O God, my Father. That's why, Redeemer, we are calling you now, O God. Jehovah, Jedidna, Rinae, Huridiki, Hurinasie, Huridakie, Hurinadia, Hurimatsika, Rikae, Jehovah. Ni kwa ajili wawe ni Mungu. Hoi mayorereria wega waku. Magiria maithori morugu. Mona kerane todo wega. You knew this was to happen. 
But Lord, my Father, we are asking you, Redeemer. We are not under commanding because we cannot command you. Yes. Take care of them, O oh Lord, Father. Hide them where the devil can do them no harm. Because they, they are all your family, O oh God. They are all your children, Lord, my Father. Yes. Hoi Java, hoi gaiwa kwa, mwale kwa nejo enyo ke mohuro ke tiae, ya ya nao matigo, utake machara rale, magwe katia mudamaki, we are calling you redeem, that you may we be with them, that whatever they think of their, their mother, their wife, their shosho, or on my father, they will be seeing you. Thou be sing you redeem my father. Yes. My God and my father, we cover them with the precious blood of thee. Mm. We bind every spirit that attacks people. Mm. We command every spirit of death to disappear from them. Yes. My God and my Savior, you have given us power and authority. You have told us, Lord, my father, in the time we ask of anything, Lord, you are able to feel, oh God. Now we are calling you Jehovah. That we cover them, that you hide them, that Lord my Father, any minute, any time, they remember their mother, they remember their chosho, like the, the husband remembers the wife, they will be seeing you, Jehovah. According to Revelation 21, you have promised to wipe all the tears of God. You have promised us that. And we know, Lord, my Father, you are going to do exactly what you have promised. We thank you, Lord, my Father, as we cover them with the blood of Jesus. We see there is Mami Hapa oh my God. She's an old mother, oh God. They know she's having a lot of pain of losing her daughter. My God, remember this mother. Remember this old woman, oh God, my Father. Hide her, Lord, my Father. Wipe her tears, O oh Lord, my Father, because we know that you are our God. You hear us and you answer our prayers. We pray, that, Lord, my Father, that you have heard us and you have answered our prayers, that you are going to hide them where the devil you do them no harm, that we rebuke every spirit of death. Yes. It will never, ever come back to this family. Yes. Yes. That's what we say and that's what we speak, yes. that there is no any other death. Gotire gekuokia modo monini, moshi yoyo, netodo ni otohe tahidnya na wadhani, wakorega, mwadhani netowarega. Fauga apana baba yangu, tume katari di masevia, tume sema apana, hakuna hakuna tena my God and my Savior. Hori masikara mazikiri dakira mazia, ni kwajiri wewe ni mungu. We say thank you Didima, we say thank you my God, ni kwajiri umesikia na hata umeanza. Amen. Amen. Naomba tukiwa hivo ni wakati wakuenda maali pale, uh, maali kwa mboma. Na kabla tujaenda kwa mboma ya uh, maali ambao tunaenda kuweka mtumishi, tuna photo of thanks. Tukiwa tu maali hapa. Kwa hivo naomba hule ya kuna photo of thanks. Kwa sababu tukienda pale ni kumaliza Na tukimaliza tutaelekezwa, lakini ni vizuri watu wapewe photo of thanks, diposa tuende. Karibu ule anapeana photo of thanks. Asante. Naenda kumpatia dugu yetu Bosco, die anaenda kurudisha shukurani. Lakini kabla tufanya hivyo, maana akirudisha shukurani. Hatuka ishini tena, bali tutaelekea pale kaburini. Naomba hapa katikati, hapa washungaji walikuwa wamekaa. Kwa haraka sana, ni pewejia hapa, ni ondolewe viti hizi kwa haraka. Ni ondolewe viti hizi, maana tutapita hapa. Kwa hivyo, ata we mahali, kila mahali uliko unaweza kusimama sasa. Maana tutapewa shukurani. Baada ya hiyo, tunaelekea kaburini. Na hii diyo jia tutakayo ipitia. Alafu ni naomba, wale wanaume wangu. Maana mungu walinifanya vizuri nilipo kuja hapa nikapata wanaume ambao wamenisaidia sana. Ninataka kusema Mungu alikuwa amebariki mtumishi wake. Kwa kweli na tumepata shida wakati tulipokuwa tunamleta hapa. Maana watu wengi walikaa kando. Kwa hivyo vijana wangu 
ninaomba tafadhali gentlemen wenye nguvu ninatamani waje hapa watatusaidia kubeba watatusaidia kubeba jenesa hili kwa hivyo tafadhali ndugu yetu Bosco sijui yuko wapi hii kuja kwa hii hii yangu joa kwa hii yangu hii ndio ya kuongea na watu wote ya askofu tunamwachie Uh, wote na wasalimu kwa jina la Yesu Kristo mole ya ganywaze sasa eh, hii maneno imeogeleshwa sana 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 shukrani shukrani kwa kila mtu na mi naona eh, bwana Isika Jeroge wote wametaja wale watu ambao wametusaidia sana 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 na kwanza kitu ya kwanza nitushukuru Mungu kwa vile alikuwa amepatia dada mzuri akaenda na mpaka sasa tuko naye na, na katupatia uwezo wa kumuzidikisha mpaka sasa tuko hapa. Kwanza ni Mungu tushukuru Mungu kwanza ya pili ni mtu yoyote ambaye amekuja amekuja na sisi kutoka hospitali, kutoka ugonjwa, kutoka wapi? Kutoka wapi mpaka hapa? Yaani tuseme kwa ufupi watu jamii ya Alfred Isika ya Kamwaki, Af, eh, 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 ya ya na wale wote ambao kila mtu yote na in general ametoa shukrani zake na kuombea hii familia na kutoa senti yake na maombi yote muambariki kabisa na tunasema asante sana ile kitu kingine siasikia mtu akitaja ni wale madaktari walikuwa na tibu udada yetu kuna daktari alikuwa huko Isli anaitwa eh uh, Dr. Omondi shukrani kwake sana na kuna eh Dr. Uh, Omesa na shukrani sana kwenu sana 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 sababu sisi kupenda kwenu ati aende mlikuwa mnajaribu sana sana tukae naye lakini Mungu naye akamona ni vizuri amondele hiyo shida yote ilikuwa naye sasa ile kitu ya maana sana 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 ni mahali sasa tunaenda kupumziza hii, mazi, hii mwili. Na wakuna watu ambao wametengeneza ile mahali yake ya kupumzika. Shukran sana. Sijuni akina nani lakini tulikuwa tunapiga simu na tunasikia iko tayari na imetengenezwa. Na tulikuwa tunashukuru hata tukiwa huko. Na pia sisi tuko hapa sasa bado tunashukuru. <coughs> Wale watu wote tumesaidiana akina my sisters brothers wako USA wapewa shukurani shukurani shuk, 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 zetu sana 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 kabisa na wote wote wale wa bishop pastors the clergy wale tumesaidiana nao Mungu awabariki na waonekanie pastors wanaambia piti yale waambariki lakini waonekaniwe sasa eh, kitu ya mwisho ni tuseme ile kitu sana sana tena ijatajwa ni mtu yoyote ambaye amekanyaga hii chamba ya mzee Kamwaki ashukrani ashukur, sana kwake sababu amekuja hapa sababu kuna sababu ya kusaidia sisi na Mungu atawabariki. Mungu awabariki wote na tukiela tuende vizuri na Mungu atusaidie na tufikisha safari jema. Asante sana. Naomba tafadhali asante tumpige makofi jamani. Na wewe kwa kutushukuru na wewe pia tunakushukuru. Asante sana. Naomba tafadhali energetic men waje hapa. Ninasema hivyo maana ninafahamu na ninajua ya kwamba uh, wale waliofanya kukubebea mwili huu kutoka pale kwa nyumba najua kile walichokupitia. Thank you. Thank you very much. Unaona ni vizuri kujijua na kujielewa. Anajua yeye ni ako na nguvu. Nipate wanaume wengine. Asante ni sana. Nataka wanaume kama kumi hapa. Kwa hivyo tafadhali jooni hapa na nipate wanaume kabisa kama kumi hapa. Ndio, asante ni sana bwana wabariki sana na shukuru sana. Ndio, mujipange kwa jenesa mkiniangalia. Mujipange kwa jenesa mkiniangalia. Natamani nione watano upande huu nione watano upande huu. Mujipange mkini mkiniangalia. Ndio, nipate wadada. Naomba wadada dada moja tusaidiwe ua hili msishukue kwanza nimesema tu mpige mstari pale mkiniangalia tuondolewe maua ha, maua haya jamani hakuna wamama wamama tumekuja kuwasaidia kubeba na nyie tunaomba mtusaidie ua hili tunaomba wepo wako uende nasi ewe bwana wa majeshi tusikie 
kidogo tu bas kidogo tu wachungaji naomba mtangulie kule naomba wachungaji mtangulie kule mfuateni askofu Washungaji wote wafuate askofu kule. Bas, tunyanyueni. Tunyanyueni. Ah ah. Eh eh, uniangalie ni mimi natoa. Nisikizeni mimi. Ni mimi mnanifaa. Kwa hiyo nyanyueni. Nyanyueni. Nyanyueni tu. Nyanyueni mimi. Mbele zako turehemu. Bas, tugeuke hivi tusonge safisha. Ndio. Tusafishe baba. Twende hivi. Twende hivi. Washungaji tuelekee. Washungaji tuko sawa sisi. Unakuwa mama yako enda nasi. Chaiko tu mai ni sina. Ila ndamu yake Yesu sina wema wa kutosha. Zambi zangu kuziosha chaiko tu mai ni sina. Ila damu yake Yesu sina wema wa kutosha dhambi zangu kuzio shaka kwake Yesu nasimama ndiye mwamba ni salama ndiye mwamba ni salama ndiye mwamba ni salama njia yangu iwe ndefu yeye unipa wokovu mawimbi yakini piga nguvu zake ndizo nanga kwake yesu nasimama ndiye mwamba ni salama ndiye mwamba ni salama ndiye mwamba ni salama Itwa ukumuni roni nina amani nikivi kwa haki yake sina ufumeleza ke kwake Yesu nasimama ndiye mwamba ni salama ndiye mwamba ni salama ndiye mwamba ni salama njia yangu iwe ndefu yeye unipa wokovu mawimbi yakini piga nguvu zake ndizo na kweli njia yangu iwe ndefu yeye unipa wokovu mawimbi ya kini piga nguvu za kindizo na damimi kwa ke yesu nasimama ndiye mwamba ni ndiye mwamba ni salama ndiye mwamba ni salama kweli kwa ke Yesu nasimama ndiye mwamba ni salama ndiye mwamba ni salama ndiye mwamba ni salama undamu yake na sadaka na tegemea daima yote chini ya kisha mokozi atani tosha damu yake na sadaka na tegemea daima yote chini ya kisha mokozi atani tosha mimi kwa ke yesu na simama ndiye mwamba 
mwombani salama ndiye mwombani salama ndiye mwombani makweli kwake Yesu nasimama ndiye mwombani ndiye mwombani salama ndiye mwombani salama hallelujah 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 oh anna weza anna weza anna weza Yesu anaweza 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 Yesu anaweza anaweza Anasifiwe uh, nataka kupatiana ibada hii kwa ufupi sana kwa Bishop Nancy aweze kutuendesha hapa kwa haraka sana Amen. Ah, uh, na hudumu na ministry uh, inaitwa Peace of Christ. Uh, yesu ni Bwana. Ibada ya kumsika dada yetu ambaye ni sujaa uh, nikiwa nimeokolewa kwa neema. Bwana asifiwe. Ah, uh, waseni tuigie kwa ibada na Bwana atawabariki. Ah, uh, msifadhaikeni mioni mwenu ma Muna mnamo muamini Mungu niaminini nami. Uh, uh, nyumbani mwa baba yangu mna makao uh, mengi kama hivyo uh, ningaliwaambia maana naenda kuwatengenezea mahali. Bwana asifiwe. Mwenu maana Mungu amesaa muona huyu dada ame uh, amesida safari bwana asifiwe na kama ni vyema akumuzike kwa uh, kwa amani kwa hivyo nyumba yake imesaa malizi wewe jiulize yako imesaa bwana asifiwe anisikia uh, hapa Patrick Musebi bwana asifiwe amen kwa hivyo tunapoendelea na kumusika huyu huyu dada ningetaka ujiulize swali kwa sababu tumesaa hubiriwa na tumesaa hubiriwa bwana asifiwe amen na kusema ukweli tumehubiriwa vile tunaweza jitaharisa kwa sababu ya wewe huyu amesaa Marisa wewe uendelee na kujiuliza sasa ukifa utaenda wapi bwana asifiwe sitahubiri na endelea nataka kuendelea nisome sitahubiri aha Uh, lakini ndugu hatutaki msijue habari zao walio rara mauti uh, msije muka huzunike kama na wengine wasio na matumaini maana uh, ikiwa toamini ya kwamba Yesu alikufa na akafufuka uh, vivyo hivyo na, na hao walio rara uh, katika Yesu Mungu ata waleta uh, pamoja naye Lakini ndugu wa habari ya nyakati na majira hamuna uh, haja uh, niwaandikie uh, maana nyinyi uh, wenye mnajua ya uh, yakini ya kuwa siku ya Bwana yaja kama vile uh, mwivi uh, ajayo ajavyo usiku wa, wakati wa, wakati wa mapo kuna amani na salama ndipo uh, uhalivu uh, una, una uh, u, 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 ajapo kwa kwa ghafla kama vile uh, Uh, utugu utugu umujiavyo um, 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 uh, mwenye mimba wara 
akatika hawa ha, hawata hawata okolewa ha, bali nyinyi dugu ham 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 mo uh, gizani hata ziku zire iwapate kama mwivi ngetaka tukaanze kuiteremusa saduku Fiki yangu wewe katika safari yangu nitatembea na wewe pamoja na wewe pamoja na wewe katika safari yangu tatembe ana mlango ni mwambingu ni ningie na wewe haleluya pamoja na wewe na tuimbe pamoja na wewe mlango ni mwambingu ni ningi na wewe uniongoze safari ni mbele nichukue mlango ni mwambingu ni ningi na we haleluya pamoja na we na tuseme pamoja na wewe mlango ni mwambingi ningi na we na malia basi kutaka ili ni heshimiwe hayani kutema shaka sawa sa na we haleluya pamoja na we Arini kutema shaka sawa sawa wana wewe kwa maana uh, kwa maana uh, wajua ya, uh, ya kuwa nyumba ya maskani yetu uh, iliyo ya dunia hii uh, ikiha, ikiharibiwa tunao jego uh, litokaro kwa Mungu nyumba isiyofanywa kwa mkono uh, iliyo ya milele biguni maana uh, maana katika nyumba hii tuaugua uh, tukitamani sana uh, uh, kuvikwa kuwa kuvika kuvikwa kaoretu uh, litokale litokalo biguni uh, ikiwa Uh, tukisha kuvikwa hatuta oh, tut, hatutaonekana tu uchi kwa sababu sisi tulio katika maskani hii twaugua twa uh, tukiremewa tukiremewa si kwamba uh, kwa ta, twataka kuvi, uh, kuvu, kuvuliwa bali uh, kuvikwa ili kitu ki, kile kipatika kipatika nacho na mauti kim, uh, kimezwe na uzima bwana asifiwe uh, ni vyema kujua uh, kufa sio mwisho bwana asifiwe kuna kufufuliwa kwa wale ambao 
wako dani ya Yesu Kristo. Haleluya. Uh, ni vyema tunapoendelea ujiulize ya kwamba wewe je utafufuliwa ukiva utafufuliwa uh, unamwamini una Yesu Kristo kama mwokozi wa maisha yako unamwamini kasi Yesu Kristo aliyokuja kufanya na ile kasi Yesu Kristo aliyokuja kufanya ningetaka kuambia ya kwamba ni kasi ambayo uh, ya kuotoa dhabi ukiva hata wewe ufufuliwe Tuna amani ya kwamba dada wetu ameshinda safari na ataka at, usiku ya mwisho atafufuliwa pamoja na watakatifu. Aa, na tusoma mstari wake wa mwisho. Bwana Mungu Bwana Mungu akamfanya mtu kwa mavumbi ya earth akampu 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 lizia uh, pulani uh, pumzi ya uhai mtu akawa nafasi uh, ya uhai ah uh, ningetaka tupewa msanga na wasugaji wote na na kijiko tunaomba kijiko kile cha mchanga kama tunaweza kusaidiwa kwa haraka tafadhali asante na vingine vitaalishwe wasugaji wote ukiwa wewe ni msugaji sukua mshaga na, na jamii yote watoto wake sisi zote tukue na mchaga kwa mkono na kuna wengine upande huu kwa hivyo tafadhali nyuma yako mchungaji tunandada pale na tuna wachungaji wengi ambao hawana kwa hivyo ipitishwe hata baba apewe mchanga watoto wake yameni apewe mzanga umeshika wote bado bado na muona hata mchunga jana bas wengine wanao ba, baba huyu ana pitisha ipo kuna mtu ana mchanga jamii umeshika wote eh? okay Kuna gai ni onete ni wega oe roho wa mwale wa hithe wito jeni Na hithe ni tuwa higa teri osoke teri Na roko goro soke roko go Tuwete keti ya ate mwadha nya wako liyoka Gai hithe wito ni omohete mwoyo mwero ori akari yoka naguo Vwe inde wale tuwa hithe rudi ya jeso kristo Toho ya natu ateki ya natu asoki ya gado. Amen. 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 Tunaomba, tunaomba tafadhali hawa kwa sababu tayali wa mesika na wameweza kueka mchanga. Wasaidiwe, warudi nyuma kidogo, tafadhali. Tusaidiwe, warudi nyuma kidogo, ndiyo tuweza kurudisha mchanga. Tunaomba. Tunaomba, warudishe nyuma. Tafadhali. Tafadhali. Ni hau. Wasongeshe nyuma Wasaidisi wa 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 rudishe nyuma Kumuwashi asko Kiendele Usiongeze mchanga mungine Tutowe maelekezi Tushua ito na mchanga Kwa imo wakati upia Naomba tuweze kuchukua vijiko Tupewe mabati tafadali Tupewe mabati tafadali Wale vijana ambao wanatusaidia kutengeneza hapa waje kwa haraka Mabati tafadhali na vijana wetu Tafadhali hakuna kutupa mchanga tena na waomba Ndiyo Mutu yeyote asitupe mchanga Tumemaliza ya kutupa mchanga Mpaka niseme sasa kutupa mchanga Na mwingine haingie kufande ule ndiyo asaidia Wasaidia na Kishikiria Mwingine kungekua na mwingine anasaidia uku
Okay. Natamani kujua what your plot is. At a landlord, upena notice. Akima ulana, ingilia kati. Peace ni expensive but worth it. Kwa nini, ulia mwa kutango lea. Dayati yangu ime change. Tabia kulea, usingizi na kutamani. Kushoto kulea, unakuja lini. Nitaba samu tena. Una ni tenda. Lea kuchukua sijui nani alimtuma. Maombi ni ati wakati rudi nyuma. Joni ni kiruti. Waya, waya. Kupate kwa nyumba. Jiti zimeshikana ni ngumu kufunja. But kauna raka, nenda kwanza. Niko na ibak sijalala. Na usalimie maulana. Iri salama, salimu maulana. Jaona na pata Oh, sabiri salama Salimu maulana Jaona na pata Ndiyo Ndiyo Jaona na pata If you give a little more Now than you take, tafadali. and if you try to give more than you bring, then you bring. If you give a little more than you bring, then you bring. If you give a little more than you bring, then you bring. If you give a little more than you bring, Utaka poshuka sita o gopa Ni salama rohoni mwangu Salama Salama rohoni Ni salama rohoni mwangu Salama Rohoni ni salama rohoni mwangu salama rohoni ni salama rohoni mwangu salama Tukiogopa vumbi, jamani ya tuta malisa kazi hii Tunaomba vijana ama watu wote waje upande huu Pandi uwe kwa imani ni mwe Apo wengi wanaka kuendele ya na uu Ninu uwe kwa imani ame ni pandemi lima yote E buwana unipandishe Sinatama nikae 
malipa shaka kamwe hapo wengi wanaka kuendelea na umba e bwana u ninuwe kwa imani nisimame ni pande mi lima yote e bwana u ni pa ndishe e bwana u ni nuwe kwa imani nisimame ni pande mi lima yote e bwana u nitangaze ya kwamba tafadhali maana inaonekana kuna wengine wanasongea upande ule mwingine usiondoke kwa sababu chakula ni kingi mno mahali hapa kwa hivyo tafadhali waje mtu mmoja tumalize kazi lakini usiondoke chakula ni kingi mno jamani wengine tuendelee kuja upande huu tusaidiane mpaka tumalize kazi tupende na kukucho ya kwamba mjue chakula ni kingi sana. Hapa tumalize kazi, tuende tukale chakula kwa pamoja. Tafadhali.
Unakubushwa kabisa kabusha chakula ni kingi kilipikwa kwa sababu yako usiondo. Wanaume tunaomba joni ni wale 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 tu ambao walianza. Ndio nao waona. Jamani tuje tulikuja kwa mazichi. Joni tusaidiane wanaume.
kuuliza mwanadamu jinsi ya kumtendea mwanadamu basi mimi nisingekuwa jinsi nilivyo hata tena nisingekuwa mahali nilipo ungeambiwa sifai ungekukanya vikali ungekumshwa dhambi zangu za kale baba yoyo unabariki unayependa unabariki unavyopenda
basikio wano kusemea Iyo mizi hiko ilo mizito hata kubebea Ay, ay, ay Thank you. 
Mungu tafadhali. Mchanga ule hatumai kuacha kule. Tunasaidi tu uchukume huu. Kwa hivyo tunaomba tafadhali wanaume. Tukalibie ni huko. Jamani tukawaachia hawa peke yao. Wanaume wengine jamani tunaomba. Tusaidiane. watoto nao wakijiandaa washukue la kwao baada ya baba ni wao wanaoweka uh, la kwao watoto mjiandae mchukue la kwenu asante asante sana baba asante sana asante asante basi watoto na wao walete ya kwao sawa
jina lako Yesu Kristo. Solo wakati moja Ibrahim uh, uh, mtu ambao ni tajiri akatamani sana kuona kwa kipatana pamoja na Rasalaz. Lakini neno lako linasema akaambiwa kana ya kwamba kuna bonde kubwa katikati ya walio hai na walio kufa. Hivyo hivyo kwa sababu kuanzia sasa uwai wa mtumishi wako umekuja Twendeni tukakule tafadhali musiachie jamii chakula. Amen. Wachungaji wote tafadhali. Tufuatane na askofu na waishwa wote. Tufuatane na askofu. Mahali pale atakapoingia na nyie muingia hapo. Muingia hapo. Mubarikiweni, mubarikiweni bwana amenani.